we in the city, niggas click up. Yeah, yeah, like seat belts when you see 12. Trying to see heaven cause I seen hell. Half of eight the end wide like I'm spree well. Remember mama had the truck with the spree wells. They ain't even know my name like D12. Now the goals for the team to have V12. So these niggas see us shitting like they easy. Hell, hell, hell. What you know about it? Uh, they was trying to get some hoes out of it. Yeah, we was trying to get some dope out of it. Yeah, no smart nigga had no colors. Yeah, but I still made it out on them. Uh, off the corner like a route on them. Yeah, pockets healthy like sprouts on them. Yeah, look, I do it for the south, homie. Yeah, I've been out of town for like some time now. My nigga asked me, have you forgot about the home team? The home team? The home team? My home team? I've been out of town for like some time now. My nigga asked me, have you forgot about? I'm gonna play Jay Wade's song in the beginning because that My joint is fire, home team featuring Mitch. So I'm gonna definitely play anybody. Uh, you got anybody? Send an email, send a top track, whatever. Dang, Arrowhead. Uh, yo, let's do this podcast. Now we're starting. <laughs> Episode 110. One George. Tim Hardaway. Ryan. Gray. <laughs> Back in the building. Hey, hey, hey. Who wore jersey number 10? Tim, Eli Manning. Tim Hardaway. Oh, dang, that's a good one. Bruh, is this not working? Oh, the mic's not even working. Or maybe the headphones ain't working. Can you hear it? Yes. Tim Hardaway. But you, when you, every time you bang the table, it cuts it out. Um, was it my Tim headphones was or was it the mic? I don't it's know. The, I can hear you. You bang. You, cut. you can hear it? Yeah, yeah, but I don't know if I can hear you because we're in the same room or the headphones. I got, I got Boy, a shirt. You always got issues. So. What's the shirt's call? Oh, shout out to uh, Southern. Hang on. Man, well, I was I had it ready, and then you freaked the Southern Soul Company, Southern Soul Co. on Instagram for the shirts. Boy, you got boy. Phoenix Suns colorway here, Dodgers colorway, Air Max ninety seven bull, silver bullet colorway. <laughs> oh, what is that really what it is? Yeah. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> okay. So he so he got no respect on his team. Thank you for thank you for supporting the show. Thank you for the shirts. Check them out. You're known as the Silver Bullet guy. Is that what it is? Yes, you no. do. Hey, it, you know what's funny? Coors Light got him. Coors Light did almost in my life. In it California. is kind of funny that he loves Silver Bullets that much. What are you talking about? What, what happened? Talking about? This has been a running joke for like three years now. Lost my mind on the freeway. Drunk two Silver Bullets during the hockey. Light. Do you not? The Kings oh, yeah, 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 Have you been out of it lately? Or? <laughs> aluminum cans. <laughs> yeah. I they mean, get you. Any aluminum but can. But shout basically. out to, they call Save My Soul. It's called the Southern so it might, Soul Company. It might Southern be a, Soul Company. It might be a coincidence. Southern Soul like Co. Light. On it IG. Shout mm. out to them. Um, pickups. Who got pickups? Well, Appreciate everybody who listens to us. Obviously, follow us on everything. Wait, week. I'm not done with jersey numbers. Oh, jersey numbers. You're right. The Brazilian Burler. The Brazilian <laughs> Burler. I know what you're going to say. Oh, Leandro oh, Barbosa. Oh, wait, what? I was say a soccer player. Bur- Burler. Messi? Is Messi one? Yeah, he's oh, yeah, number he 10. 10 yeah. For There's a lot of, a lot, number 10 is like a, a, a famous Ronaldo? number in soccer in general because that's like the main playmaking midfielder on every team. I think Ronaldo is on what? Brazil? No, he's not. He's on. Huh? I don't know. Ronaldo? Ronaldo from Portugal? Ronaldo? Does, he does not wear 10. Oh, Ronaldinho? Uh, Ronaldinho may have worn 10. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like the main, it's known as like your playmaking attacking midfielder. Is number ten. That's what, they, like, if you ever hear them in soccer say n- the number nine, they're talking about the main striker. If you ever see them say number ten, they're talking normally about the like playmaking midfielder. I learned something new every single GM in the day. building. General manager yes, of the building. You should be. Who else number ten? I'm out. I don't know. Oh, well, you said ten right away. Uh, Beckham maybe wore ten. Seven and twenty-three, I believe. Seven. Okay. Worse was Beckham. Oh, that's that's right. He talked about Beckham's talk jeans about Beckham. and stuff. H and M copped him. Uh, There's a lot of good soccer players that wore ten. There's no doubt about that. But I can't think of anybody right now. I'm trying I to think of more football players. You I gotta can't be more think football that players. only Eli Wasn't Manning. Wasn't there a wide receiver? Only Tim Hardaway. Oh, I, I feel like there's that. a wide receiver. I feel like there's a wide receiver yeah, that wore Denver 10. Denver man wears number ten. I think. Who? Ed McCaffrey. Deshaun Jackson maybe wore number ten at one Deshaun point. Deshaun Jackson wore number ten at one point. The nah, the receiver now. McCat when McCaffrey played, they couldn't wear no. numbers in the teens. The wide receiver. I have no. The receiver idea. right now, not the big dude from Georgia. The Plexico Burris never wore ten. Did he? The small. Why am I thinking Plexico Burris? He was eighty, right? Is he eighty? Oh wait, uh, 
Yeah, Martavius well, Bryant, Victor, I think. Victor Cruz was. Martavius, Martavius Bryant, Bryant's 10? Oh, he's 10. He might be 11. I don't think so. I don't know. The, the dude from Denver. The small, fast receiver. Emmanuel oh, Sanders. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think same. Yeah. yeah, Sanders, I think. Dang, that's it? No, I think I was thinking Man, of... there's probably I think a lot I was of people that wore 10. There's probably a lot of good quarterbacks, too. We just ain't thinking about it. I think I was thinking of Bryant, though, because I was thinking of a Steeler. What about um, Frank Tarkenton? I don't know. You're going way too Any basketball too far players. Oh, Brady Quinn. Yeah, I said Tim Hardaway. Brady Quinn. No, any yeah, more yeah, basketball yeah. player. Tim Hardaway couldn't be the only number 10. I Where's understand Leandro that, Barbosa? but he's probably the best number 10. Leandro Barbosa. is the best number 10. Leandro Barbosa. The best, best number 10, at least from our era, who we who would have like a cultural following, like crossover. Dennis Rodman. Man, you know? Ooh. Number Ooh, 10. Dennis Rodman at the, for the Spurs. And maybe uh, Pistons, too, was he number 10, I think. You no, know, I mean, he didn't start wearing crazy numbers until he went to the Bulls, so. True. What did Isaiah Thomas wear? Should have had a like 11. Original Isaiah oh, yeah, Thomas? Yeah, this Isaiah. <laughs> original. Oh, Isaiah hey, Thomas. hey. Oh, hang on, OG, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> OG hang and on. retro. <laughs> <laughs> OG and what what did you call them? Fakes? Unauthorized authentic. Unauthorized triple A's. <laughs> the greatest point guard of all time. All right. If you say to Steve me, Nash. Steve Nash wore number 10 What's on the Los Angeles Lakers. How did you, like I would ever forget Jordan's number? How did you almost forget? Los Nash Angeles was, Lakers. Oh, because it was the Lakers. He right. wore a 10 on the Lakers? I mean, he yes. wore 13 with the Suns, but. Oh. And 11 in college. Awesome. Why would you, why really would you do know that? You really do know about So him. you get to say it next episode. Next episode? For <laughs> the next two out of the next three weeks, <laughs> we're going to talk about Steve Nash again. Oh, uh, my God. Pickups. What we got? I think pickups. everyone has pickups. We got. We got a field of, bar in the building. All of us got Jeter 11 lows, right? True. Mm-hmm. Um, Who's going first? Are we just saying, like, we're just going to do the universal shoes and then the rest? Who got Jeters? We all did. <laughs> he raised his hand. <laughs> uh, what's the other ones? <laughs> you get Pippins? No. I caught Pippins. Sold, I caught the, sold them already. I caught those Kith um, purple Pippins, Pippins yeah. worn ones on eBay for 50 bucks. <laughs> You All right, you can just on, do your oh, own list then. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. You bought another pair? Yeah, but they were 50 bucks. Oh, come on. Um, of, that's the thing we always talk about. He buys things I just bought a pair $50. of Air Max One Aquas for 85 off of sneakers and stuff. Air Max One Aquas. You posted a picture of him wearing those the other day. Yeah. Bowling or whatever. He was oh, doing. you're talking about the, the oh, yeah, yeah. OGs? What are you, talking, you bought another pair? Yeah. Oh, for what? Dude. Them is kind of disappointing. Yeah. Nah. I like them. I like them. They're not better than watermelons. Disappointing is a stretch. They're not better than... I don't think they're better than watermelons. I was disappointed. I bought the... The ones I should have bought are the other OG colorway, the one that came out, the navy or whatever. I'm actually upset. I yeah, those. those are dope with the red. I bought the curries. I know you bought the curries too. I know you like them. I was disappointed in the quality of them. I mean, I didn't expect it to be like... To my Air Max ones, right? Had a suede yeah, or whatever. You for know 150, what I, mean? I expected it to be more similar to the OGs than the 110 dollars like watermelon. Like the, I think the watermelon suede. Yeah, but the watermelon doesn't have the leather on there too, though. That's the difference. That piece on the curries. Not saying that justifies 40 dollars difference, but the curries have that leather and the suede. Yeah, but y'all bought all the curry pack, right? No, I, I didn't. did. He uh, did. I didn't. Which ones did you buy? Just red and just the OG one. Oh, okay. Huh. Um, Are they worth copying? To me, it is because yeah, I think it's worth copy. I like, I really like the colorway. I just was, I guess, I was expecting more from the material. I'm not feeling them at all. Um, Nine and a half are sitting everywhere. Just wait till it goes on sale. Yeah, it'll go on sale. It'll be like for like hundred bucks. I mean, I think every size except like eleven and a half, twelve, twelve and a half, thirteen is sitting on I don't think I pay a hundred for them. Though. Yeah, you would. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, I value my money. I'm not. You some... spent you spent a hundred on these. Okay, these are yeah, freaking these actually, actual yeah, you fire. Spent 100, there's. Are you insane? There's about what? You're saying these are better than They're about six hundred dollars. Curry Air Max right One of Felis. I'm okay. sorry, what? Six hundred dollars of Felis in right here, bruh. Just chill out, huh? <laughs> nah, you, nah, <laughs> nah. Five hundred and then uh, six and then uh, the uh, six hundred. Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> every Adidas, every Adidas that gets sold out of my Ugh, closet. Get that hair off me. Pause. Something else gets its wings. Okay. I'll tell you what, right now. Every Adidas, and you got to, what do you want? I still got BYWs. From, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are they? I thought from, you were there today. From I forgot like, about, I forgot like, about We didn't like, come last week. From like right here down, it might be one of the best shoes of all time. But the fact that it was this high, at least now in 2018, just, it's not. Yeah, see, but, like, compared to the Ronnie's, that's, it should have been that's like, a low top. The yeah. shoe should have been like that high. Well, yeah, because it's different. The Ronnie, he changed it. He put a zipper on it or whatever else. Yeah, but those are, um, 
first of all, you got to go size up. I mean, I have size up, which I didn't. You got so you got, I got a nine and a half. You should got a ten. Yeah, I should have got a ten. Oh, okay. and, you got that inner yeah. thing. That's why. And bro, they're booty. fine. You got to treat them like Jordan ones. Get yeah, your fingers out of the booty. Yeah, but the new shoes that have that inner thing is part of the shoe now. Look at this; is separate. It's separate. Yeah, you got to treat those like a uh, like Jordan ones, Jordan one highs. So you just got to pull your jeans up pretty high. Shout out to Ryan Moore. Ryan Moore knows how to wear his Jordan ones and stuff high proper. Uh, uh, he got those too, Ronnie Fine Maestros. Uh, what else this, you got, Ryan? I think this pair might have better leather than the one no, that I got. No, stop it. Oh, <laughs> no, the oh, size 12. The, original. the oh. size 12 is, uh, <laughs> didn't have the same leather as the size Copped 9. A, uh, <laughs> copped a new radiator for the Firebird. <laughs> All right. Copped a pair of, I copped a, a worn once pair of black cement threes for 140 shipped. Yeah, just finish all your pickups, and then you can that's go That's a freaking out. deal. I know. I had to buy them. What else you got? I think that's it. Hey, you know what's messed up? He should have told me that. Knowing I lost my pair. Yeah, you didn't lose your pair. There go. I have no idea where they are. You know how long it's Wait, been how since they dropped? Wait, how much is you copping for? 140. 140. Worn ones. That's like his From fifth where? pair. eBay. So that's pair Man, number. That's five pairs. It must have been something that ended at like 3 a.m. and nobody knew it was, it was a, He put it up by it now. It was only up for like two minutes. Bought it. He's a moron. He'd need money like that. That's like them things Greg used to post in the, uh, I was about to say. First of all. The, Nerd group. The NG. Oh, uh, hey. I, <laughs> before. First of all, I didn't post it because I needed money now. Right. No, no. I'm, oh. I'm not, understood. I'm saying that's what the things you used to put like steel or whatever. And it would be like, these are literally selling for like 50 more dollars down the street. I used to be selling stuff for like $25 in there. Okay, that's stuff. stuff. I'm not talking about Dion's from like 97. I'm I talking about like stuff Kobe that was more. Kobe 6. I sold Kobe 6 in Los Angeles for like 65 bucks. Uh, oh, I bought a pair of um, I'm not taking 75, those Killer Cam Flea for. Box because they were like $40. Those yeah, purple you, ones? No, the, the pink, pink ones. ones. I mean, the pink ones, I mean, <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, I don't know. Why are you talking junk about Reeboks, these and stuff? And you I paid $40. Pay that, you know? paid 120 there's only 95 pairs of each. What are you talking about? Have you seen the prices of these on eBay? That's what that's what you should be asking yourself. They e still sitting on they still sitting on the Fila. eBay no, they're not. eBay doesn't in like one size. eBay doesn't exist anymore. No? eBay only exists for buyers. You know how much these are going for on eBay how in much? the Pink Dolphin version? How much? 250. Pink yep. Dolphin version? Okay. They're a 109. Okay. What are you talking about? Tell me StockX price, all right? Bro, they're not on, there's only 95 pairs. They're not on StockX, bro. Why, why wouldn't they be? Bro, I'm out here, all right? And I got the Marcus <laughs> Taylors coming in. You today. out here, but you're not reselling them. You weren't. You right, because these joints are fire. <laughs> and, and and these are better than Desert Rats and, and, and st stop it, all right? Stop it. All of these are better than Desert I Rats. I mean, to me, it would be the equivalent because I wouldn't wear either one, but... You'd wear these, man. Whatever, bro. What you got for pickups? So whatever. We get this. I'm going whatever, to bro. the website right now. No, you, you go next. for it, bro. You go, you go next. Fine. Uh, I got obviously Felas. Shout out. You to... You already uh, said that. No, Unless I didn't. I never said it. I said I wasn't gonna say that until they came in. Uh, shout Orange out to uh, Shelf Life. Shout out to Community Fifty Four. Shout out to Just Fila. Shout out to Ronchi. Shout out to Burn Rubber. These got canceled. All right, I got them, fam. What do you mean got canceled? Burn rubber canceled them. Adidas was on them, or something like that on their head. Canceled the release. Got them. Fam. Oh, you mean the, their store? Their store. They didn't cancel Burn rubber. Fila's release. No, Fila's. That's where I got mine from. Fila. Uh, so but, how much are those going for? Don't know. You can't About find them anywhere, fam. You can't find them Bro, anywhere. Bro, you type fam. that in on StockX. I bet you it's on there. It is, no, it's not. I already checked. Go for it, fam. Lies. Uh, I got Pinnacle. What are the joints I got last week? Pinnacle Air Max ones. I wore them to work. Oh, the pink ones uh, and the other one? Pippins, Retro Classics. Shout out to myself. Um, bro, what else? Oh, I got a couple pair of KD4s. He says, shout out to myself. Yes, got, you played in the playoffs. I man. got the white, yellow, and blue KD4s, and I got the undefeated green KD4s. Wait, what? Um, whoa, wait, wait, wait. wait Re what? Rewind? You out here buying KD4s? Yeah. From where? eBay. Dang. What, wait, what'd you buy? You bought the... The road greens. The road greens, and then the white, blue, and yellow ones. I don't know what. I feel like that was like something. The scoring title? Not scoring titles. Not those. I had those ones. Those suck. White, blue, and yellow. It was like a majority Man, white. You out here. I'm out here. Every Adidas that leaves my closet, something else gets its week. <laughs> Facts. Uh, when Adidas goes out, some fire comes in. All right. No more white? Adidas on my body. Bro, I'm getting dressed in the morning. That shirt is Adidas. I'm getting dressed yeah, in the morning. Adidas. I put my ASU gear on. I was like, what the? This is three, 
Three stripes. Took it off. Trash. But you did have it on your body, on your person. Don't count. No one saw me in it. But you just told us your 20 wife, bucks. Your wife and your kids did. Oh, that's disrespect. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I, know I, got some, I know I got something else. You got a cop. I got Marcus Taylor's of these coming in. Let me use smoking sticks. I hate those. Copper? Look like actual skillets. Uh, Marcus Marcus Taylor, feel is coming in. Um, Derek Jeter, 11 lows. We all got those. Derek Jeter, 11 lows, yeah. Um, I bought two pairs of those, actually. And then Air Max 97s come out tomorrow. Anyways, <laughs> what does that have to do with what you cop? Because I'm copping. <laughs> you didn't copy yet. Go ahead. I already got OGs and other pairs, so I'm good, but I'm still copying some more. All right. Jeter's, uh, Curry's, Air Max One, Anniversary Reds mm. uh, on that eBay sale. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, and we all got free Google Minis. Oh, you didn't get Whoa. one. Nah, yeah, Simple got I, one. I wasn't going to spend. What? I mean, what did you buy? You bought shoes or what did you buy? Shoes, jeans, some. Dang, look at you. You really Bro. out yet? Yeah. I'm going to literally walk in the house and say, Google Mini, please think this podcast. And it's going to play it for me, fam. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, I caught those. I, I sold them already. Me. How much you sell them for? I only made like $8 or something like hey, that. Hey, lucky you didn't lose 80 because <laughs> their joint, those joints are 110 on most of I'm an experienced seller. Don't, uh, reseller. Prostitute. Those, okay. Them Scotty Pippins, whatever they're called. What are they called again? Maestros. Maestros. Uh, Trifectas. You what betcha. Else, what else did I buy? Are you going to wear 11 of those? I mean, I bought them with the intention of keeping them because I think they're fire. Especially are you going to wear 11 of those? Like, suede laces. Leather right, I got to see them. I feel yeah. like I'm really excited about them. Me too. I really am. But they come, Mine with, come Monday. Uh, they come with, uh, what you call it, laces too. Um, Rope. Or uh, yeah. oval, yeah. whatever. Wait, they don't come till Monday? They come with, no, he got his from eBay he's, or East Bay. I got East Bay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got our, Nike? our site Nike. comes like tomorrow or Friday or something. Oh, I get a pair of Monday. I think it comes tomorrow. Tuesday. I'm excited about them. I get something tomorrow. What else did I buy? I thought I bought something else too, but I don't remember. What else? I'm checking. I bought my, a phone case like seven weeks ago. It hasn't come yet. Check my, what you call it? Curry's. Hey, Shanghai, check out my phone case. Greg's yeah, right I, here. He's okay. I said Curry's. Greg's right here. He's okay. Um, I'm trying to cop the what you call it tomorrow. I guess we could talk about that on releases. What? Release? They don't come out tomorrow, but the like I think Foot Locker thing expires tomorrow, right? Or Which Friday. ones? Ones. Oh, oh, no. Not that uh, I care about them, but uh, I think homage. not till Friday. That's all your pickups. Friday, I like think so. Two. I'm going to say I have other stuff, but I can't remember releases because I know we had two weeks that we weren't here. Homage ones. Who copping? Trying. I'm gonna try. You gonna sell them? Oh, you keep no, them? I'm probably keep them. <laughs> I'm trying to sell. You guys already know that. You I said don't they care. Might be uh, don't no, care. I said they didn't look bad on on Jimmy uh, Butler. Jimmy Butler. He said, he said Jimmy yes. Butler. Said Jimmy Butler's six six nine or whatever. So they look fine on him, and the leather paused, and the leather on them look fire. But I'm not keeping. All right, facts. All right, because whatever I get rid of, <laughs> more feelers, fam. They coming. You need um, to chill. You're not even going to wear any of these. I wear any of these. Except I wore these. this already. Yes, I know. I'm probably going to wear this no, tomorrow. No, you're not wearing that. Or Feezy's. Whichever yeah. one, bro. You ain't wearing them. I'm out here. You are out here, but I don't know why. I'm not taking no what ain't nobody wearing from you. All right. Everything you got, you ain't wearing. Okay. You ain't wearing those. You ain't wearing those. Um, those women rebels, rebel ones that tie up on the side. Those drop. I would wear the Stop top it, three. Ryan. I would wear the top three ones. Stop. The what? I'd wear the top three ones. The women join one rebels that like tie up on the side of the shoe or whatever. I mean, I could see him copping one of them. And doing what? Wearing it. Bruh. I could see. Come on. We're talking about simple here. Okay. All right. I mean, you deny that? Air Max 97 gold. So we all trying to cop, right? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> what is with you in 97? <laughs> Different. He picked what you call it in the he picked silver bullets. Yeah, he did draft silver bullets. Draft silver bullets. No, I drafted golds. No, he I drafted, drafted gold number one. So you don't even know what you did. <laughs> I only um, drafted that because of its value to the <laughs> listeners, not because of my opinion of it. <laughs> um gold, what about Air Max ninety seven Vapor Max? If you don't get ninety sevens, would you got the Vapor Max? Oh, Fuck no. I mean, they don't no. suck. I might try. If it's easy to cop, I would try for a 97 gold. I do want a 97 gold. They're sitting it's the in, greatest in 97 women's all time sizes to on end right now. So that makes me. Well, and someone on StockX, too, a size 12 is down to like 198. Do you go up half size, though? So I'm, do you get a 10? I'm thinking the resale is not going to be super high right away. And like maybe some sizes might. Well, you said when the eBay code was out last week that you could have got one for pretty much retail. Nah. I, nah. What? 97s? No. Nah. I would have if it was there. No, Curry's and 97's I could not get. That's why I bought those Anniversary Air Max 1, and that was the only thing I bought. 
Anniversary Air Max One is what I got for basically retail. They were like 140 plus tax, and I think I got it for 160. So whatever the difference is. Did you buy? A, so did you buy the other acronym? Maybe but they were DS like from Stadium Goods, so I mean I know they're authentic. I think so those come out this week, but did they already come out? The what? Acronyms. Acronyms. Uh, I think they came out yesterday. Oh, they suck. oh really? Oh, okay. Yeah, if your shoe doesn't have laces, unless it's a Vans slip on, it sucks. I agree. I've you changed, don't like Vans I've changed my tune. Yeah, but I mean, I but I wouldn't say <laughs> why. But I wouldn't say Vans slip slip on suck like I say other shoes suck. Because I looked at people wearing them in pictures and they look wax. I have this. At you, what uh, what we talking about today, Samuel? We talking about the Phoenix Suns getting the number one pick in the NBA draft. <laughs> NBA playoff update. Tinker threes. Tweet that Greg made angered a couple people. Eh. Because Greg runs all of our social media. All social media publishes okay, by Greg is Greg's opinions and Greg's opinion only. Not okay. the opinions of Ryan and, or George okay. or the Sneak This Podcast as a whole. I make sure I say Greg when I say stuff like that. Uh, we're talking about the KD11. I didn't be- look at it yet. What was it? It was hey. something crazy. You said you looked and started laughing. Because the guy was just getting angry. No anger like one person. Uh, he said, "Shut up, Greg." Oh and no, Greg we, said, "You shut up." He said, no. that ain't <laughs> "It was on Instagram." You shut up. No, you and shut that's up. That's the homie. It was a uh, Black Disneyland man, uh, John oh. King. Oh, I look on Twitter. Homie. Oh, the one who was always at Disneyland. Yeah. He hasn't posted in a long time. No, he posts all the time. He got like five. Disneyland's half shut down. Uh, I haven't seen anything in forever. No, he has like different accounts now. Like he, he's. Uh, a, oh, all right. He, like, he must have deleted the one that. I, that he, I, okay, whatever. What else, Simple? Talk about the KD11. Does anybody care? High, snobi- high snobiety article. Uh, basically, devil's advocate for why fakes are okay. Nike Air Max voting. Sports gambling being legal in the United States of America. We're making America great again. <laughs> and the top 10 sneakers of all wow, time man. that Greg and I regret buying because George didn't send his list until the car ride over. Do no, you even I have a list to say? Yes, I sent it to you already. Check your email. I'm not looking at it. It don't make it matter for me to look at it. As I long as you got something to say on the show. I understand that, but the point is I'm proving to you there exists. When are you going back to your barber? I'm putting in an order. Bro, what are you worried about? Bro, your mustache yeah. looking weird, bro. <laughs> bro, get a trim up, man. Bro, you got to get shaped up, bro. Don't show goatee, cut. Um, don't worry about me. Your beard's getting wild, bro. Son, number one draft pick. Like Sons get the number one draft pick. Hold on a second. Oh, I got yeah. something to say before we do this. Uh, Is it about your beard? Right. No. I'm tired of all these reseller morons I'm talking to you. Geeks talking about, oh, all yeah. these little kids need to stop lowering the prices. I'm so angry. Let the grown adults make the money. Shut the fuck up. Suck my dick from the back. You're a bitch. It's the most pussy shit I've ever heard in my entire I'm life. i with this dude. Oh, you were arguing with the dude on Twitter? Kill yourself. Nah, uh, yes. like two different people, but it wasn't really an argument. It was like, he's, I said something, he said something, and then I said something back, and that was the end of it. I looked with at that. two different people. Oh, I see the other person. Yeah, there's another one. I'm tired of people complaining about other res- – you're a reseller. If you think there's not competition between, like, Target and Walmart or Nike and Adidas or whatever, look, cutting prices down on each other, you're a moron. The biggest problem is – the buyer, you understand economics. You understand economics. The buyer drives the market in every market. Yes. It's called Economics 101. <laughs> Supply and demand is a thing. The seller cannot demand or dictate the price. I'm no. tired of this nonsense. Y'all need to kill yourselves. And get jobs. All of you. Get a job. Who goes? I'm not angry at resellers in general. Look, reselling is a, is a natural thing. We all buy shoes from resellers via eBay, of course. StockX, whatever we need to do to get the shoe we want if we can't get it from retail. I have zero problem with reselling. We resell stuff. But these little pussy motherfuckers complaining about not making <laughs> money because little kids are accepting prices on StockX that lowers the price is not how economics works. Kill yourself. Read a book. The dude Suck told- our dicks uh, from the back. The dude Silent. told George and Sakjit to shut the F up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? I tweeted something and Sakjit man liked it. And, I, and then I was like, this is the most pussy shit I've ever heard. And he said something, blah, blah, blah. I bet you I make more money than both of you. He said, first of all, both of y'all shut the F up <laughs> and something. <laughs> and he, and, well, Greg, <laughs> I told Greg, I was like, my response was fire. So I don't know why you out here laughing at this. Because the dude goes, I'm only seven. Good thing I'm only yeah. 17. Yeah, so and I'm well, like, being told to shut the F up by 17. <laughs> George told him, good hey, for you. Go make some merch. Yeah, I told him, I said, you're, I said, what, yeah, what did I say? I said, you the best, fam. Go make go some make merch. Go make some merch. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like, bro, that 17 year old told y'all to shut that both of y'all. <laughs> hey, go He's make some merch. Slap funny, your dude. teeth out. <laughs> go, I don't care who you are. Go make some merch. It's funny, dude. Go, uh, I mean, Phoenix Suns, <laughs> number one draft pick. DeAndre Ayton. Are we excited? Do we care? I'm so over drafts. Wait, what? This is a different tune than all your text messages last uh, night. Suns fans should care because, like you said, and we talked about, they're making a really big deal out of getting the first pick. They really are. First of all, and the explain... franchise can change when you have the number one pick. That's in oh, yeah. possibilities. Let me explain something to you about the Phoenix Suns. Yes, we. Uh, they're probably not going to pick Aiden. <laughs> they're going to. They're gonna owned say. by. We understand Robert Sarver, <laughs> who is the worst owner in all of NBA history. I don't know the Clippers owner. Was... Okay. <laughs> yes. He, he was a person. wild racist. He was a okay. crazy person. Huh? All right. yes. He was a pretty bad owner too. Donald Sterling might be worse, but I'm just saying. Daniel Snyder. Okay, but you said NBA, but Daniel Snyder's pretty bad with the Redskins. Mm. And Browns. Everybody Browns is bad. So. So. I don't know. I mean, I'm. I mean, of course, like I'm excited. We have the number one pick. And I would hope they would take Aiton, and I'd hope that Aiton would be a great basketball player. But like Greg said last night, every time I feel like most times a big man gets drafted, they have injury problems, or they don't pan out. I don't know, man. I oh, you subscribing to that now? He's never had injury history. No, not the injury problem things, but like stop it, George. It's not the injury. You can't problems. just magically come up with injury history. I'm not when talking you don't about. Have it. I'm not talking about that. I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about like. Well. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just. Now, look, I don't know the injury history of, like, majority of the players that come out if it isn't documented. Like, you, you Greg think he's going to be a like Greg? Yeah, okay. That's he what did I was Greg, Greg Oden have yes. history? Injury, yeah. I remember he got injured a few times. He was yeah. out. In college. He was out a lot, a big part of that yeah. season in Ohio, okay, Ohio yeah, State. Yeah. Now, I knew he was, he had injury issues. And so was but Embiid. Did, I think Embiid played like 10 games for Kansas that but season. But did, did we foresee him, like, going down the path? That he no, went I mean he no, went he number didn't. one for a reason. Kyrie Irving played what one game in college? No, like two in the tournament. Eight or nine? Four, I think. No, no, no. he played like seven, six okay. or seven before, and then they got to the Sweet now, Sixteen, so three more. He's having a. I guess he does have a little history of injury because yeah. he stays hurt now. But it's he's something about kneecap, it's something about big man. So do we expect the Suns to like either just have bad luck by drafting the right pick or screw this up somehow? I think, I think everyone expects what you said about the. Messing it up just because it's the Suns, but what I think Simple's worried about is they hired that coach. Is it a coach or GM or the who was coach the guy? of the of Luca's team in? Yeah, yeah. But what is he going to be with the Suns? Is what I'm he's saying. He's the coach. Oh, they hired him as yeah, the head he's coach. The head coach. Yeah. See, that's what Simple and a lot of people are worried about is that they're going to take Luca because of the ties to yeah. the coach. See, my thing is the kid can play. There's no doubt about it, and he might be a superstar. But what I saw on Twitter, and I texted you guys in the thread, I think is a good point that no one's talking about. And shout out whoever said it. I don't remember. If they pick Aiden and Aiden bombs, you, the Suns really can't be held liable because everyone expects them to pick Aiden. If you don't pick Aiden and that guy bombs, then you open yourself up for speculation because you probably didn't pick the best player. I'll say that. They'll just say the Suns got bad luck if Aiden is trash. They'll just be like, man, Suns just... Yeah, but they can't be blamed for it the way they could be blamed if they go outside that. I do pick. think the Suns are going to pick twice in the top ten. So oh, they're going to trade? I do think so. Well, we have... The Suns have three in the first round. No. Right? Are you serious? No. no. I was like, oh. No, 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 no. I thought they had... Oh. So they have one in 16. They were supposed to have... Um, I can't remember whose pick it was, but it was basically like if it was the 17th pick, they'd have it. If it was the 18th, or if it was the 18th oh, pick, yes, they'd protected. have it. 17th, they wouldn't, and it was a coin flip. I think it was Milwaukee. I think it, it, it possibly, yeah, 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 because it was. I think part of the Eric Bledsoe deal. I think it was something, and like they literally won the coin flip to move back one spot, which means the Suns don't get their pick. So they lost the coin flip. So they are well, they, the won, Milwaukee, they won in Milwaukee the long term, but they the, lost the, the coin flip. So. <laughs> That's so crazy. how do we get to? They're the rooting for the so coin. The They're second, rooting to lose the coin. <laughs> that yeah. is crazy. So the second one <laughs> was. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of that. The second pick was from. You really want heads? I can't but remember. You from. say tails to lose. That's crazy. I can't um, remember the second one was from. Okay. Oh, we have two. One do you think anybody else in the draft is as good or better than Devin Booker? Wait, what? 
Do you think anybody in this you upcoming draft? You mean like draft trade him for something? Like trade him oh. to do something? I thought no. you meant like, oh yeah, Aiton's a better prospect. I mean that. Don't think we had that first prospect. No. Anybody else? I think if we had Booker, Jackson, and Aiton, we'd have a good core. You think we would, so? I think we would need a point guard. I think what they're gonna. I, if I were the Suns, what I would try to do is trade sixteen, our first pick in the second round, thirty-one. And maybe like next year's first or second to move into like the top eight and take um, Trey Young. Trey Young. 2017 draft pick Suns. Josh Jackson. It's gonna be good. Gonna be good. We can say that, right? Yeah. Okay, I told y'all last that. year. 2016 Tyler Eulis. Yeah, but he wasn't a first round pick, was he? Second. I just picked the ones that are still on the team or no. Oh, you're just going through all their picks. Yeah. They didn't have a first round pick that year or no? I don't even know. Tyler Eulis, it, it was, it, but they did, but like oh, the they names, like it was Alex like, Lynn or yeah. no, they uh, Alex Lynn, Lynn was, was like 2013. Five, five they picked ago. Chris and the other dude, the white Chris European. and uh, Bender, and yeah. Chris is trash and Bender's trash. Yeah, Eulis is probably better than both be okay. Chris is only like 19. Still. Chris could be okay. Bender nothing. will be traded. Of course, that means something. You no. got more time to develop. No, because they thought that with what's his name uh, that got drafted. Not to the everyone Kings. is the same, Bruh. Everybody is the same out of college when you come out that young. Man. No, they're what are you All talking right, about? What's homeboy two different humans? To have? Super young cat. He used to be able to dunk. Oh, number twenty. Uh, he got young that, kid. He, he got that the fight at the Royal Rings. Yeah, went to the Pelicans and then what out the of the fuck league. What was now. his name? Archie. Archie. Archie, Good, Archie, Archie Goodman. Goodwin. Archie Goodwin. Oh, you talking about young yeah. buck? Kentucky man. Athletic. He's like fourteen Had when no he got drafted. Come out of college. Yeah, but no one. They didn't pick him number five. I know he that. I'm just saying twenty something. Homeboy that got drafted by the. I think he got drafted by the Kings, but he ended up on the Kings. McAdoo? Young Cat. Talking about the one from Kansas? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about him? Trash. Like it's garbage, Bruh. too. But it's a different human. All right. Well, but thank you very much. I'm uh, just saying. All right, look. 2015, Devin people Booker. People develop differently. Can I ask you guys a question? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Does the amount of money that players get up front these days diminish their work ethic? Do you yes. Think? In the NBA, Okay, hold yes. on. Hold on. Let's take a step even further back than that because – Basketball is different than any other sport because these kids are courted when they're 12. Yes. So they're Soccer. already pumping. Yeah, Soccer. but in Europe, not in the U.S. That's different. They're already like pampered when they're 12 and already have the expectation of, hey, I could take easy street until I'm 19 years old. Yeah. So you don't have that in college football because AAU really doesn't exist. Like they have summer passing leagues or whatever, but they don't. There's not shoe companies coming after football players. There's not shoe companies coming after baseball players. There's not shoe companies coming after hockey players. It's only basketball. So you have a different mentality like European soccer from when kids are really young. But in soccer, it's different because they don't – there's no draft. They just sign with a club when they're a kid for money. Like Messi's story. He signed when he was like 11 or 12. Bar Freddy went to Barcelona. Dude. Same kind of thing. And you don't get drafted. You're already on that – team and they can bring you up to the main club whenever you know what i mean so it's a little bit different but i i think that thing about aau basketball shoe companies and whatnot changes so the answer is yes but it starts way before college so based on that do you think that we'll ever see anybody that plays the level of yeah but lebron was like that and he's the best player in the world so i mean it, that's what i say every kid's different well when you talk LeBron about LeBron, had a Hummer in high school. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, now, you talk about LeBron, though. You can look at LeBron and see his greatness, and still yeah. look at him and yeah, see, right. and still thing. look at him and say, like, I feel like he could be a little greater. Like I, you mean now, or you mean back then? Even when he you, first came out, there were times then. you looked at LeBron like, bruh, you could be even greater than you are. It, it sometimes looked like he didn't want to be as great as he could be, that, and that's. Argumentative. That's subjective. Like sometimes you look at him like, bro. I mean, he's what? What, what, what is this going to be? Okay, the first time so him missing the finals in nine no, years or something? Yeah, but I'm is saying, that what it is? I'm so you're saying, counting him out already. Oh, come on. They're but there are old. times. There are times where yeah. there are times. We're talking about playoffs. We're you've seen Cavaliers play. We're gonna get the playoffs. There are times <laughs> where like you know that there's a game and you say, oh, LeBron has to score 45 for them yeah, to win last night, and yeah. he does. And he did. And he did last night. He balled out last night. But. So going back, like you said, I think in every single sport, you get some guaranteed money in football, you become trash. Like, that just happens, all right? Look at Flacco, Yeah, but it right? starts at a younger age. It's different I know that. I'm, I'm just saying. In basketball now, you can tell players don't want to get hurt anymore. Like, 
They don't want to touch each other. They don't want to do anything in basketball except stand up there I mean, and shoot the, the rules. Is, the rules are different, but too, but rules ain't changed to go make a layup, bro. Nobody wants to lay up. Nobody the, wants to. No, no, dunk. no. The way they're calling the game is way different now than what it used to be. Bill, Bill Lambeer and Dennis Rodman and those guys, and uh, who else? John Sally and uh, oh, I mean Daryl Dawkins just, and all these dudes who are. Oh no, who was the who was It's the not one? about being physical. It's about it just is. your type of shot selection. They used to hate. They used to let you get hammered going to the rack, and so guys were scared to go to the rack. Yeah. And now they don't have to worry about that no more. So, they, but yeah, they don't got to worry about it now, and they still don't go to the rack. Yes, but they it, there's also a North uh, rack? There's also <laughs> evolution in basketball rack, rack where life. they know what the most efficient shots are now. That didn't exist before. Efficient is corner three is the most efficient shot in basketball. Period. The next most efficient shot is probably a layup, but some people argue it's any other three. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. 2015. You're saying a corner three is more efficient than a layup? Absolutely. A fast break layup. <laughs> I mean, you would have to chart all the like wide open fast break dunks and layups. Efficiency Period. is is it's like arguing Dwight, like Dwight Howard. No, it's and, not. Like, DeAndre There's Jordan. Sti- you guys know I'm a statistics person. Statistics have proven this I already. I work in statistics, yes, okay. but I also don't live by quite statistics. a bit different statistics. They're not calculating like. <laughs> what you do, they're not calculating like the most efficient way to stab somebody or whatever. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, chill about what I do for a living. <laughs> All right. 2015. Uh, no, well, hold on a second. Okay. So just think about it in these terms. You shoot a three, it's worth three points. You shoot a two, it's worth two points. Calculate. You know Calculate you the, free throw through one point. Calculate the shooting percentages. Calculate the shooting percentages of what the same number of points is. If you shoot 80% on layups, wide open layups is probably higher than 80%, but take like DeAndre Ayton, for example. At the rim, last season for Arizona, I think he shot like 74% or something like that. Dunks. Then, yeah, whatever, dunks and layups. So however many twos he made, then calculate how many threes would equal the same amount of points, and it's going to be 50% less. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they say the more threes you shoot, you shoot fewer shots, you make score more points. So I don't know. So like what's a more I efficient shot? I understand that. We've talked about this before. A corner three or a free throw? Um, <laughs> a free throw because no one's defending <laughs> no one's you. defending you. Okay. But see, quick. that's another argument. That's another thing that people use for efficiency is how often does a guy get to the line? That's factored in now to all these advanced statistics for how good players are. You get to the line more often than the next guy. Like, the reason why Harden's – okay, I'm getting in way too deep, but VORP, I don't know if you know what VORP is or – No. Or real box plus minus. The reason why Harden's is like always and up there on that <laughs> is because he gets to the line as much as he does. Same thing with LeBron, same thing with KD. It's all factored in efficiency. <clears throat> Value over replacement player is what Vorp is. 2015, Phoenix Suns, Devin Booker. Are we sold on him yet? Yeah. Is he done or are we still giving him a shot? No, I'm, he's not No, done. he's not done. Okay. But he's not as good as we thought he was going to be. He's not. Like, I don't think. Yeah, He's he, not up there with Milwaukee, man. Your boy. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be a top five player, but I think he's a top 15 player. Oh, that's a lie. Wait, wait. Now or at the end? when Like, his, like his potential. Like his oh, full potential. Oh, okay. I I don't think 25, 25. I said top 10 ever. Right now, he's probably top 25. No, no, top 25. No. Not ever. Top 25 in the league. At a I thought he'd point. be top 10 ever. Uh, nah, bro. Let's not go no, crazy. Man. Well, you also went crazy about Milwaukee, man, so let's relax. And I was right. He's not a top 10 ever player. He's not top oh, 10 he ever. might. I said might be. I understand pen- that, but. Potentially. He has potential. Stop it. Potential. Okay, he's a top 10 player in the league now. But that's not ever. 2014, TJ Warren. You said TJ Warren might be our best player. Yeah, I think that he is tweet right. I saw about TJ Warren one of the funniest things I've seen on Twitter lately. I think TJ Warren is the best player on the Suns. Was yeah. the best player on the Suns last year? Uh, same year, Tyler Ennis. Is he on the team anymore? I don't know. He sucks. Tyler too. Ennis. Uh, Alex Lynn. Obviously, that's trash. He's gone. Uh, Kendall. Oh, Marshall. is he really? Well, his contract's up. They're not going to resign him. He's an unrestricted they, free agent. They didn't uh, uh, do the what's it called. Pick up the option because if you're a first round pick, you have that. It's like the NFL; they have the. I think we all they're forget. so crowded. They're going to be so crowded once they get Aiton. They're going to be so crowded that once they get Aiton, listen to them. We drafted Markeith Morris too. All right, in 2011. All right, Suns have awful. Drafts. First of all, the Morrises aren't trash players; they're trash people. Oh yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, I don't like telling people they're trash, but. Their record, they have a record of being making trash decisions. You know what doesn't make any sense? And I was I talking about it this about weekend. That is wild. When they were at Kansas, there's no, unless Kansas did a really good job burying all the stories about them, there's no stories from college about nope. them cutting up. Nope. And now there's they're one. older. Okay, well, listen, 
they're older and you would assume more mature now, and there's more stories now about them cutting up that, than back then, which is weird to me. That was normally when you're 18 and you rip because I'm sure they already have money. Kansas pays a lot. All right, this is facts. These are facts. <laughs> they already have money. They now they don't have NBA money, but they already had money. That story about them fighting back to back like double dragon, fighting, <laughs> fighting the entire football team is a crazy story, bro. Two of them fighting the, a football team? And Kansas football team is trash, so I would assume But I'm saying, ha haven't there been stories about them hitting women and stuff since oh, then? Oh, no, I'm not telling the story, but I got a story about them. Okay. So, I don't know, but, bruh, I'm not going to say it. All okay, right? so. And it's you, fact. <laughs> is, so what I just said, is that true Put or not? Put the It includes away. that. It Well, that, it, it. So, in other words, they've been in trouble for domestic violence. Uh, they, I didn't say they got in trouble. No, no, no. Okay, I'm talking about other stories. Haven't they been in trouble for that, or no, am I wrong? They beat up a guy who took their mom on a date, and the date was trash oh, or something. Right, never mind them. I know who that guy is too. <laughs> beat the brakes off him. Um, You're NBA out. playoffs. Trouble. What we got? Uh, full size run basically on champs right now. Eleven low Jordan. Uh, what you call it? Jeters. 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 Okay. Bro, they're so disrespecting those. Jeters are fire. Out of all the trash, especially that the out. mids are forty thousand dollars. I don't understand it. That means nobody ever and liked the mids. They didn't come in any stores. No, they literally were East Bay champs and Nike sneakers, and that's it. Nobody like everybody swear they like the mids. This means nobody like the mids. Period. Them, I don't know. Them gray mids sold out. No, those are different. I, I'm saying if you don't want to buy the Jeter low, but he's just got a number two in the back. People are still yeah, sitting. People are still. Bottom. People are still sitting around waiting for Jordans to come with a 45 on the back. Like chill. All right. We don't need 11s with 45 on the back. People are still waiting for that. Do you know the Concords this year have a 45 on them? Yeah, and people are like, bro, they got a 45 one. Man, that 45 rubs off that the back of 11s so you said quick. On, where? <laughs> on, on East Bay? On Champs. Yeah, on Champs. They're, they're the NBA playoffs. Run. We and care. They're, and they're adding cart. Do we set ourselves up for a letdown with the no, Rockets? I'm care. not watching anymore. Why not? Because I'm not watching. Because Golden State. Because Golden State is going to wash the Rockets. They're going to wash them. I'm going to watch game three I already of the East Conference the Finals. Season, so. If the Cavs lose game three. I'm not watching any more of that, and I will not watch the NBA Finals. It might not be worth watching the NBA Finals because nobody in the East, well, Celtics Warriors, no, Celtics Rockets would be really interesting. All right. But that's not happening. What are you showing me? There's no sizes. Oh, it's maybe low they, zero. Maybe they sold out that quick then. <laughs> I just looked at it right now. There was a full size run. Uh, are you on Champs or East Bay? Champs. I don't understand uh, why the, the Celtics are so good. That's what you said, right, Champs? Yeah, it makes no sense, but part of it is that Terry, point guard, playing way higher level than he's ever played in any game in his entire career. And then Yo, you the, trolled us. the emergence of, bruh, I just literally got the tweet from J23 App Man or whatever he is. Emergence of what? The emergence of Duke Man. What's Duke Man's name? Sim, uh, not Simmons. Uh, what's Duke Man? The wing who's scoring all the points. The third. Something, um, something, something, the third. No, no, no. You're talking about uh, D. Brown. No, he went to Cal. But, yeah, you could throw him in there, too. Jordan Brown. Is it Jordan Brown? Bro, they ain't on there. I don't know who you're talking about, bro. What are you talking about? There's, the, what? The wing. You keep saying the wing. Who is the wing? From Duke, the light-skinned cat. Oh, Tatum. Yeah, Tatum. Ballin. That's what I'm saying. Tatum is already the number three greatest Duke player to join the NBA okay. ever. Relax. Can I make my point now? Number one Duke player <laughs> ever in the NBA. Who is it? Can I make my point Fine, now? Fine, make your point. I mean, Elton no. Brand is up there. Yes. Duh. No, he's not. Grant Hill. Kyrie Irving. Grant Hill. Kyrie's up there. Elton Brand's up there. Grant Elton Hill's up Brand's there. Elton Brand's number one. Nah, he ain't over Elton Kyrie. Brand's over Kyrie? Kyrie is a championship. Elton Brand is that not he over. he was responsible Fine, for we'll say Elton <laughs> Brand is not over Grant Hill. He's number two. No, Man, he's not. stop it. Y'all love Boozer, Grant Hill. Boozer, Boozer should be up there, too. He had, a, he had a good career. I mean, he a superstar, but he had a good career. Grant Hill's better than Elton Brand. Okay. Ellen Brand had like Grant three Hill's, good seasons Grant, with the Clippers. That's it. Grant Hill's height is one of the might be one of the best NBA players ever. Facts. So that's an argument. I don't know if his career. So here's the thing. We talked about the Penny too, and I'm gonna go back to my point after this. What was that thing you said about Penny today, by the Penny, way? Penny, Penny, and <laughs> why are you hating uh, on Penny, Penny? Grant Hill had two of the like highest highs of anyone ever. You probably put T Mac there too, but -Mac they also yeah. had like the lowest. Brandon lows Roy, Brandon or Roy didn't last. Gilbert yeah, Arenas. Yep. Yeah, no, yeah GA. You could put in there. <laughs> no, you can't. Oh, uh, yes, you can. He averaged Gilbert, 32 no, 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 no. a game. I'm Gilbert not, Arenas was a... I'm not talking about coming out of school. He, they weren't like this. We expected Grant Hill, Jason oh, yeah. Kidd, like that. They drew, shot up while in the league. That's different. Yeah. T-Mac? Oh, nobody expected not a T-Mac in a high school. T-Mac was like, oh, this guy's pretty good. 
Nobody was like this. Uh, nobody I mean, was team back out of high school. Gilbert Arenas, Early first round, like mid first round pick. I'm when Gilbert Arenas was on, he was a better shooter than Steph Curry is now. That's definitely not true. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> is. Steph Curry is the best shooter in NBA in history. NBA history, and he <laughs> still has care. about ten years left. <laughs> I, don't I don't care. care. <laughs> he, he hates him. Bro. Gilbert Arenas was better at his prime. <laughs> Gilbert Arenas would shoot from half court. Yeah, Gilbert and make Arenas, it. yeah, like this. I Gilbert Arenas, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man, he used the th- uh, threat and is in jail now. <laughs> yeah, for a drive by shooting, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, actually murdered somebody, I think. <sighs> anyway, lives are what, different. What, what, the, <laughs> what are we talking about? He's talking about how the Rockets Celtics finals or something. No, oh yeah. Uh, so the Celtics have Terry, the point guard, playing out of his mind. Rozier. Yeah, Terry Rozier. Tatum, who has no business playing that Milan. good. Tatum has business playing that good, but no one thought it would be this quick. And not in the playoffs. And Smart. Then, and then Brown, too, is now making threes. Smart. Who, eh, he's trash. Uh, what? No, he's been he's doing. He's a, he's a small, a he's small. A, he's a glue man. No, green. He's a small Draymond Green. That's exactly what he yeah, is. He's perfect. Yeah, glue guy. He is underrated and perfect. But he's not winning you a, he, he's not winning you a championship. They're winning because their wings and Terry are playing out of their minds. Brown had 23 last night. And yeah. made like four or five threes. Morris playing good At too. At Cal, I don't. I think he shot like the Morris twins are good. They're just whack. Nah, they're see, just I'm not going that far. They're playing. He's the playing Morris over twins are too. good. They're, they're just not bad at basketball. Though. They're just. They're not bad. They They've been in the NBA problems. forever, but th- good is a stretch. Like <laughs> the Morris twins are good. Nah, yeah, they are. It's, they're good NBA players. Now, now, are they like a nice option to have on a good team? Yeah, but good is a stretch. I'm not. You put them on trash team, trash. They get on the Raptors. Raptors might get beat the Cavs. More Mark <laughs> I don't. And they were on the Raptors. All right, hold on. Marquise was averaging like eighteen when he was here. He played well. He played pretty good. Though. Yeah, but what does that mean? Though? One's better than the other, but they're both pretty. I good. think Keith is the better one because because I think well, Marcus was. It's, it's backwards phones. from what it's backwards from college. college. From what it was. college, Marcus was better, well, and, now and now Keith's better. better. Yeah. yeah, but they still good. You got to define good if you talking about their and good. they hooping phone posits. So. Okay. Not. No, you relax. It's Jordan Levins. Yeah, they've been wearing Levins. Marcus is phone bosses. I will say this. He People yelled at Tristan Thompson's face stuff. last night, and I was oh, like, that was tough. Oh! Hey, hey, Tristan Thompson is pussy for sitting Thompson. there taking like, I hate Tristan Thompson, Thompson but, but, Mark, but Morris <laughs> is probably the only person I would want Tristan Thompson to knock out. I'm, uh, but Thompson's a bitch. I'm not for violence. <laughs> I'm not for violence. But yeah, Tristan okay. Thompson should have swung on him. He, he should have. No, he should have, though. He should have kicked him in the and nuts. And what's the man you just talking about? Need a scrap one. Remember when Dennis Rodman fell in the in the stands at Tatum and uh nah, in Minnesota the, he kicked the camera? The one in the you nuts? guys talking about, Glue Man. What's Glue Man? Oh, Smart. Yeah, they need a scrap. No, straight Bruh. up. Who who do? Jr. Smith and, and Smart. I thought Jr. Oh, Smith was gonna get like, knocked. It, like out. I mean, like in a boxing match. I think Smart would wash Jr. Smith. Though. I think so too. Jr. Smith. Jr. Smith got way longer arms. That's the only thing. J.R. Smith, what? J.R. Smith is a product of tattoos. Okay? Yeah, J.R. Smith. He's from New dudes. Jersey. He's not a. He's not nah. a bum. He's nah. not a pussy. Oh, I didn't say he. Uh, I, I think J.R. Smith. A, I think J.R. Smith, Smith is from New Jersey. I think J.R. Smith Where's was one Bobby? of. The, I think J.R. Smith is one of those dudes that got all those tattoos, so he th- so he looked okay. reckless. You swear? I don't care where he's from. All right, it makes a difference. You know, where you from and a resume makes a difference. I all right. No, he doesn't have one. I didn't say he did. I didn't say he did. Exactly. Right. But I think J.R. Smith is one of those dudes that got all those tattoos to try to intimidate people because he didn't want to fight. He's from New Jersey. I, until I, I see evidence that he gets washed, I, I'm not saying it. I think Green, that used to play for the Suns, would wash J.R. Smith too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green, who, AC Green? Gerald Green. Uh, uh, Gerald Green. AC I think he'd wash J.R. Smith. Green. And a scrap up? Gerald Green has like. Three fingers on this right hand or something. So bro. what? That don't mean <laughs> nothing, bro. How is he gonna he make a fist? Shot off. <laughs> oh, okay. he's doing the, the gang door. sign. No, he um, was born without fingers, but that's all right. I thought his finger got slammed in the door when he was a kid and then mm-hmm. lost it. Oh, hmm. I guess yeah, it's about to take off. Is he gonna make a fist with with t- a thumb and two fingers? The four uh, finger assassin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Tinker. He can pull a trigger. That's it. So just real quick, Tinker tweet thing. So shout out to the homie John King. I told him to call in and, and make his point, but he said he can't. He's busy. At Disneyland or some crazy, so I think that guy's name is John King. Isn't it's John it? King. That's the homie. So <coughs> he always does the podcast. We appreciate him. I think he's super cool. He takes good picks. You talking about homie. Orlando man? Yeah. Oh, I didn't family think his name was John Dope. King. Yeah. Disney uh, World. That's a dude Disney on World. CNN, isn't it? No, that's uh, Don Lemon. So no, you're a, thinking about Don King. There's a John King too. <laughs> <laughs> there's some dude named King on there, and I ain't talking about Larry. Yeah, Larry King. <laughs> I ain't talking about Larry. You know, yeah, Larry King might be the oldest man on earth, uh, and still getting it in. Um, pause. And then, oh, so basically, all I tweeted was that I said Tinker Threes are heat for people that take a lot of L's. Okay, that's all I said. And this is the thing: I got a few people that were like, "Bro, these their history and whatever." Okay, now I don't know why you like Tinker Threes. All right, because they're. 
fire. Okay, but saying <laughs> stuff like Tinker Threes are history, history. is insane. They're history. No, they're not. They're, they have his, they're no part history. of our culture. These have more history. No, they than- don't. This is not historic. This is a orange shoe with feel it on the side. This the is model. historic. The model came out in 1995. Tinkers never came out. What's stupid is, is people think that these tinkers that just came out must be the only other drawing. They, I bet he drew about 40 shoes of a Jordan 3 that might come out. Tinker 3s are utter nonsense. Uh, what? What? Compilations. I mean, collabs. What do you want? <laughs> Compilation album. What are you trying to prove? Collabs. Collabs. They're collabs. What do you want? What do you want? All right, you own. What's the history in these four shoes? These came out. These actually came out in '95. Yes, were fire. these. Yes. What's the history in owning a Bruh. LeBron James 15 Ronnie Fi? You bought this and put patches all over it. They okay. sell for 800 bucks. That's the history. Look, you spent all this money on feel of mind blows. They would have been history if I had a cotton. Tinker threes <laughs> are stupid. All right, They're these just are stu- these are okay. These ones aren't stupid. Right. I mean, I don't know if stupid these is the right stupid. word, but they suck. These they are stupid. Suck. Tinker threes. Are fine to have. You can like them, but you uh, can't say stuff like history. That's, okay. I mean, that's dumb. History if Tinker Threes are heat for people that take L's, what is this stuff? This is for these are ninety. There's ninety five pairs of each, except this one. Ninety five pairs of each. Okay. Okay. That's so what heat. if there was eighty pairs of Tinkers? Then would they be lit? Well, they would probably still They'd sell make for six hundred bucks. I mean, then you love them? No, I hate Tinkers. Because you play the game. Tinkers are wack, So you're a numbers bro. man. So you only like these because of the limited quantities, not because you love them. You oh, just love please. it. You just love that there's one in 95 because you want to play the game. You think I bought this many because I like the numbers. Yeah. No, because if that was the case, you would have bought them all too. He would have bought them all and sold them if that was the case. He buys anything limited. So do you. Don't sit there and try to say these joints are whack. These joints have actual History. Oh. They came out in ninety five. Hey, they do smell good. That's Tell just a history. that's just a collapse. Okay. What are you talking Tell about? Tell me the history. Smell Jordan threes came out in eighty eight. Jordan smelling. threes. All right. right. It smells like Payless. <laughs> All right. These actually smell good. And for the record, mm. Tinker is a nobody. Jordan made Tinker. All right. Just for anybody who didn't. But know Tinker that. made Jordans. No. He, okay. He made Jordan shoes. All right. No one. Tinker. Threes are just a regular shoe that they're just pulling a wool. I mean, I eyes. would imagine that Period. I would imagine that no one knew really. And when I say no one, I mean the majority of people probably didn't know what Tinker was until like um, Nike Talk era, right? Probably. I mean, All right, around that time. All right, yeah. and Jordan it is the. That's it. it. Stop it with the Tinker Threes. It's cool. Like, there's a lot of people who it's, still don't know who Gentry Humphrey is, and he just re- recently went back. Liking to liking Brand. Tinkers? Oh, that's cool, man. I get it. You like nah, them? That's awesome. But don't say they're fire. They're don't fire. Don't say, I mean, say they're historic. You can like them. Don't say they're historic. They're historic. Don't call them OGs. They're historic. All right. Don't call them OGs. Not nah, a trash. Because it literally, it was something that was drawn on a piece of paper and thrown in the Let me ask basket. you this. Jaguar comes out with a car. Because we know you're a huge Jaguar fan. I love Jaguars, though. So. But they're and they're garbage. like, and they're like, this was a concept car in the '80s, and we're going to release it now. Would you cop? A concept car? Yeah. No, I wouldn't cop. First of all, Why? Jaguars are trash. Okay, <laughs> let's put it this way. So the homie that I know from Mitchell and Ness that used to hook me up with jerseys and stuff that doesn't—he doesn't work there anymore. He told me this a long time ago. He said that they're possibly, and it could still happen, coming out with a, a Portland Trailblazers Michael Jordan jersey because they could have drafted him. Mm-hmm. So, trash. So could the people who had this two pick. You're right. I don't know who it was. That's a trash. Just because Wait, it's a Drexler possibility. Drexler had a Jordan. Who, who else was? Well, Sam Bowie. Yeah, no, Bowie did. But who was number two? I don't know. I don't even. I forget who had the pick. Drexler? I don't even remember. No, they didn't have one and two pick, did they? No, he originally he got drafted. Oh, uh, maybe not. Look, all Ooh, I'm saying is, point. all I'm trying to say Would is, would you buy a Kobe Bryant, Charlotte, or uh, Charlotte Hornets jersey? He got drafted by the Hornets. I understand. That's why I'm asking you. But no, I wouldn't. It's a stupid thing. There's nothing behind it. And if somebody tried to say that's history, he got that's not history. This might be. There's no, it's not. It's perfectly fine to like Tinker Threes, but there is no history behind a shoe that was a drawing and wasn't good enough. You know, there's probably. About I 50 wish more that we had threes. this podcast when Air Max Zeros came out because you oh, sang a different uh, tune Elijah when Air Max first. Zeros came out. George, did I ever like Air Max Zeros? Uh, Never. No, he but copped I copped the, him. He copped the first shoe, but then he said it's trash. He said history. Oh, I did not. You never oh, hear me say the remember. word history unless I'm in social studies. I'm not going to agree with either one story. of you on that because I don't know. But I do know that when he copped it he, and he opened oh, the box, garbage. he said, these suck. Of course so I was boring. trying to cop. And that's when Air Max Zeros were going for like 500. Olajuwon went number one. Bowie went number two. Sorry. Facts. Bowie went two? Yeah. Over Jordan. I thought Bowie went one, but that's I thought right. Bowie went so two. So would y'all cop a Rockets Jordan jersey? Yeah. 
Ryan, if you to go, my Tinker Three is good. Oh my God, that would match perfect. Well, hey, I, actually, I got a question. Hold on a second. The NBA draft combine, like for all the players to go get measured and jump and do whatever pause, they pause. had. <laughs> oh, oh, link. Y'all got to chill. <laughs> you need to pause Reach. that. No. Reach. They 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 released Girth. pictures today. <laughs> He's gonna be good. He's gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be good. That's but, how they knew Greg Oden's knees were bad. If, <laughs> imagine if they went in a room and like the GM and the owner came in there and said, "Pull your pants down." <laughs> He's gonna be good. You would, you would do it. You would do it. Yeah, y- y'all gotta chill. You though. would do it. Uh, <laughs> facts. Back to the original point. <laughs> it is on track. They they released pictures of like what the players are wearing for the thing. It was Under Armour. Did Under Armour get the Nike? Always. I mean, the NBA contract. Yeah, always. No, 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 no. Always for the combine though. Uh, it hasn't. Oh, is it really? Years, yeah. Why is it different know. than uh, league contract? I don't yeah. know. Like jerseys are Nike, right? Or am I wrong? Nike. Oh, all right. Yeah, because yeah. the Jordan brand. No, like they have all that stuff for sale at uh, Just Sports. It's like nineteen dollars for the, the <laughs> hoodie and the sweatpants. What is Just Sports? <laughs> Is just that, sports, the store. Oh, I thought that was the one where you oh play it against sports. Is the one I was play thinking. It against sports. Yeah, Under Armour does. They the, might have it there Does too. the combine stuff? I'm assuming for everybody because right. they do the com. Um, Never mind. Then. Do they still do the NFL combine stuff? Uh, I have no idea. Are y'all watching the Jordan documentary that's supposed to come out? Twenty. That's what I was gonna say. So that that jersey is coming out. It's four hundred dollars. What jersey? The Jordan jersey that's coming out on that special Nike app. Oh, that's fine. That's very fun. Well, you, could, you should talk about uh, because Don, Don C. Jewel jersey. What? Oh, Don C. Jersey? You should talk about that. Yeah, because Don C. Is, end, is garbage. All right. <laughs> Don C. Is not a designer, and it's foolishness. And Mitchell and Ness should be ashamed of themselves. Four hundred dollars for nothing. You know who wore the blank jerseys? And look, man, I mean nothing by this, cuz. But the the person that wore the blank jerseys in school was always the weird kid, bro. And be like, oh yeah, you play for the Suns, bro. It had nothing on it, bro. Or it had like just the ten on the front and like the last name on the back. It was weird stuff. Maybe that's Don C in real life. Now the idea is great. One hundred twenty-five bucks, one hundred fifty bucks. Well, I get it. But bro, stop it. Four hundred dollars for that? Stop it. All right. Why are we paying more money for something that has less? Thank you, Ryan. Why are you paying four hundred for anything like that? Anyway? Now you did pay more for a swoosh, all right, on a tinker, and it's not worth it. No, I paid right? less. Tinkers are less than what? Less than two No, they're two hundred. Two twenty. Oh, two hundred. Well, oh, really? I stand corrected. They're one ninety. <coughs> Shout out to John King. One ninety. And Don C is trash. He's not a designer. He's nothing. He's a con artist. All right. Oh, wait, wait. One ninety, wasn't it? I what? Who are you talking about? He's a. We're talking about Tinkers. Talking I know about, you're talking about Tinker, but what are you talking about? He said more than whatever. Oh, I thought they were... Uh, True Blue 3s were 220. Yeah, they were a grip. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The Black Cement 3s were... With 200. Like, man, I wish I knew No, they were 200. Bro. Black Cement 3s were 200. Oh, that's right. Are y'all but watching? True Blue 3s were 220 what last year. What is going on, Jordan Brand? Y'all care about a Jordan documentary in 2019. Oh, yeah. that's, why, that's why I brought that up. Why? I'll watch it. I mean... I'm gonna I mean, watch I've it probably my already seen, player of all time. I've probably already seen most of them anyways. Yeah, I feel like we... I don't feel like it's something we didn't need. Like the only thing I need. Well, to- it, I think it's only about his last season, and it's like way behind the scenes stuff. They I said think it's like over five hundred hours of but, additional footage. Yeah, I think it's just about his fi- final Netflix season. Netflix is making it. it too, which is great. That'd be dope. But Sir Charles documentary from like ninety six is fire. I used to watch it all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> the only one watching a Barkley documentary. Um, I, I mean, I, I'm interested. What in was it? the Jordan one we were kids? The Air Up There? Or Air, no, that was a the Air Up There was an actual movie. It was a good movie. Kevin Bacon. There was like two Michael Jordan documentaries that I had. Yeah, Space Jam and <laughs> yes. uh, uh, Jordan IMAX. <laughs> Remember that Jordan IMAX movie? Yeah. Get out of here with that. Look, a Jordan movie's fine. Uh, you could say there's too much OJ stuff, but that OJ movie with Cuba Gooden Jr. was fire. All right? Or FX show? show was fire. If they do something good like that, I'm all for it. But the only thing that Wait, I don't so know this about is, like, is who killed his dad. So I don't know. Wait, this is like a like a... Like it's a documentary, a, like a ten-part documentary. Like a documentary or like a show? It's a ten-part documentary. No, it's a documentary, but it's o- it's only about his last season. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, man. <coughs> I got no speculation for it. Uh, what else are we talking about? We got time. Might as well just talk about Kanye real quick. Kanye, I ain't got nothing we to say about, about Kanye. Kanye. No, 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 about that the the ocean man, thing. I have that trash. I mean, what was I say? Just bring it up. Kanye's being investigated by OSHA because yeah. uh, somebody dropped a 3D print on their foot. And Adidas too. 
and Adidas, and they might lose their foot. You know what's funny? Stuff Adidas like that. Trash, nothing though. ever happens. I mean, they might be like in the trash. Nothing ever happens with stuff like that. Though. Yeah, OSHA that. don't play, no? Yeah, OSHA. It will, <clears throat> will talk OSHA's to Adidas. OSHA's 11? <laughs> OSHA. <laughs> no, OSHA's 8. OSHA. <laughs> That's OSHA a new one. Will, I know, man. That girl got Rihanna in it. And look, man, I like Rihanna's a very nice <laughs> what person. What was the other? Right? Oh, She's a trash Uncle actress. Drew looks trash cans okay, as a movie. First of all, it's all NBA players as the stars. So, yeah, it's trash. Okay. But I'm going to watch it. I don't Bruh, understand why. I saw it on Fire Stick. I don't either. Yeah, on Fire Stick, yeah. I watch it. Why, was it. why wouldn't it be like a net? I mean, okay, whatever. Actually, it no, should I'm be. It should be DVD. Thing. Oh yeah, it yeah. should be like it a shouldn't Netflix even be DVD. It should be like or like a show. on demand for lifetime. free. Lifetime, it should be a lifetime movie. It should be a lifetime movie. It should be on the and one network. Make f- <laughs> and one network. <laughs> yes, give senior citizens. They partnered with a Vice. Um, Vice Land and I mean all Adidas, on Paramount. All Adidas is gonna collab do is, with Vice Land. Adidas is gonna slide a check, a slide a check to that man, and probably like some Yeezys and call it a day. Though. That man, I can tell you one thing: OSHA doesn't care about. He doesn't know. Easy. Foot, he's <laughs> well, he could wear one boost. Oh, right? you mean to man? Yeah. I was gonna say I can tell you one thing: OSHA does not care about it, and that is Yeezys. Trust man. me. Unless Yeezy makes uh uh what's the boots with the toe cap thing? Steel toe uh, boots. Steel toe boots. Yes. Steel toe boots. Well, if them joints had uh the, the steel toe was boost, now that'd be fire. Um, uh, uh, Nike Air KD 11s. Nobody cares. Moving on. Nobody cares. Uh, you know what's funny? About I'm not mad at it. Yeah, we don't they need look it. Like something you I'm not gonna though. buy it, but I'm not mad at it. They do look like something you wear, though. Yeah. They I mean, look like those ones that you tried to convince us are fire. Lunar. Remember them? Oh, those right. Lunar yeah, them explosions. Lunar joints. Yeah. yeah, them joints are even twenty three dollars. I almost bought a pair. What? Them ones that you tried to like, multi colors and yeah, they're, they're comfortable. Gray. I was just telling you about comfort. You know, what? I didn't say the like design was super fire. You know what's funny <laughs> about uh, the KD line? Do you know, like, I mean, this is an international star athlete. Bro, they're banging that base in there. Do you know if if Nike stopped the KD line right now, nobody, nobody would, would care. care. Like, and it, this is a, a bona, fide, bona fide star. Like, this is a huge athlete. Wait. I think in general, no one would care. Who's getting, who's getting a signature next year? No, not basketball, huh? Who did Nike announce who, is getting their own mean? signature next year? Who cares? Uh, Giannis Sh- Ak- Kimpo Tempo. Is that who it was? Yeah, he's getting this. Who would care? No, if Kyrie stop making sure? Kyrie, I think Kyrie's are yeah, pretty I think good. I think people would be like, "Yo, what the heck with Kyrie's?" Man, I don't. Think I think LeBron's, the Paul George would. shoe is better than Paul George as a player. Paul George shoe, I think is is I think I underrated. I think it's a really good shoe, uh, the new model. But yeah, I'm KD not mad line, at this KD, but I, it, it's not necessary. If the line faded away, nobody would care at all. I don't think anyone would care about any of it. Nah, <laughs> they, they would care. Um, is it really Giannis? That's you know what's stupid? Yeah, because he put a tweet out too saying who's ready for the. The Giannis one. Oh yeah, they took a picture of him with a like a Nike Destroyer jacket or something on. There was already like a small ad or something that. You week. know what's funny is uh, uh, these are the only cool ones. You know what everybody thought though? Everybody thought you're a thought no because why? <laughs> the, <laughs> you're like a little kid. You just like it's like stickers. You yeah. only reason you're interested is because it has like a Velcro thing. Yeah. What? <laughs> Dang, this is the somebody, only good somebody one. just messaged uh, Jimmy Jimmy Garoppolo number ten quarterback. For number ten jersey, because oh, uh, I was like, "How do they?" Uh, <laughs> they're listening already. Well, no, like, somebody messaged like, "Where's episode one ten? Um, you know what's funny is that everybody thought him leaving the Thunder, we were gonna get all these fire colorways because they're Warriors. We still don't care. Like, we still don't. Care. We still don't care. Yeah, but that's because. Well, I'm not gonna say the shoe is sucked. I think the ten is okay, but no, I mean, no, no one's buying basketball in general. LeBron's are doing okay. Kyrie's are definitely. LeBron's doing okay. came back and then had a Kith collab. That's the only reason anyone cared. No, LeBron 15 was a dope shoe. It overall. was a dope shoe. It just, it's still difficult. To no, wear. I'm not saying. Yeah, yeah. My point was, it the shoe came out and it was nice, and they did a Kith clap. Does, I'm not saying do Kith any of us. Oh, you do. I was going to say, do any of us buy 15s? Because I only the Kith ones. Though I don't have like any normal. Oh, uh, what I mean, else? Where are you going to wear it? Um, you know what's funny though? <laughs> I the I, most ironic part about that is LeBron 15 is the first shoe like that on LeBron looks like a space boot like. As big as the entire arena. You look at that on his okay. foot, and I'm like, normally his shoes on him is the he's the only person his shoe looks good on. I look at that and I'm like, bro, that shoe only looks good on somebody with like size seven. Uh, that high snob as big as this table. Are we talking about that? Or are we yeah. gonna skip that? I'm interested to talk about it. Okay. Because I actually have So the background of it. So basically I didn't, it was I didn't a, read it. It was an article basically saying that basically it's the sneaker company's fault that people are buying fakes. And better versions of it are being made, and basically playing devil's advocate, saying that you know we can't be mad at anybody who buys a fake Supreme Louis sweater because you don't give you don't give us the opportunity to own it, 
and it's too hard to cop and it's too limited so these other companies make these other ones how can i be mad at the next man that walks in with one and try to like clown him for having a fake because growing up in the sneaker culture community whatever somebody come out there with a fake now this is when fakes were trash they were clown, clown forever all right i kind of agree with the article a little bit like and we've talked about this before like i could see why buying a supreme louis vuitton hoodie a fake one if you could find the best version of it i don't see what's wrong with it now so here's here's the biggest issue something that you mentioned terrorism when we were like <laughs> probably i don't know when Where we were definitely article at? i'm trying to find this joint definitely when we were kids but even like as much as like five six years ago if you went to look at a, like to buy a pair of shoes from somebody like on a craigslist meetup or a group meetup or whatever and you got there and the box was this big <laughs> and it was crumbled and the shoe looked like cardboard you're like no nah, these joints are fake now you i mean i don't know like i it sucks because every time i see somebody wearing a pair of yeezys i assume they're fake which and, and i wouldn't know the difference between a real one and a fake one probably anyway the only reason i know mine are real is because i bought them from adidas and see that's <clears> the <throat> thing with and I assume everybody thinks that mine are fake when I wear them, since I assume that everybody's that wears them are fake. <laughs> yeah. So it's like a vicious cycle. But that's a true thing too. If any of us, okay, now with us, and there's plenty of people in the sneaker community who, if I seen wear some, they, they've we've built enough. Who? Clout. Well, hold on. Who wrote it? Was anyone who we know? Or? Uh, it's a guy. What's his name? His it, name it's is. It's not uh, someone like big in the sneaker culture. No, no, no. I mean, well, he might be. I don't know. I didn't know the guy. Okay, the article's kind of old. We don't know who he is. But his name is uh, Alex Eor. Uh, at slander s l a n d r. So the answer is no. I'm gonna send you the thing, but um, Dang, basically Mark Wahlberg CIA movie coming. Because out. let's go. Let's say now us. If one of you came in here wearing the Supreme <laughs> hoodie box logo, I wouldn't think it was fake. Yes, I you wouldn't. Would. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would, because you would know that neither of us would ever spend three racks on a hoodie. Okay, okay, fine. Let's go with something lower. All right, something whatever lower, five hundred dollars or five hundred bucks. I wouldn't think it was fake. Okay. I wouldn't. If we came in, you wouldn't think it was fake. Now, if we walked in Scottsdale Mall and we just seen like some young kid walking with it, we would think it's fake. Yes. I would. Yes. Okay. Now, unless his dad was walking next to him with Bentley keys, <laughs> he has to have a Bentley key hanging out the side of his pocket. So, do you understand? Basically, like, do you agree with it? Disagree with it? The biggest thing is like when I remember when Red Octobers came out. I was in a sneaker shop that shall remain unnamed, and somebody brought in a pair. And like they looked awesome, and he was like, "Oh, there's a fake. Sorry, man. Like I can't buy them from you, whatever." And I was like, "How'd you know they were fake?" And he was like, "Cause they're way better quality than the real ones." <laughs> and I was like, "Wait, what?" And he was like, "Yeah, like they're like way better. Like the cuts are perfect, the sewing's perfect, like the real ones. Like this stitching's messed up, and like the angle on this cut's messed up." And I'm like, "So you literally know they're fake because they're better materials and better quality than a real pair?" And he was like, "Yes." And I was like, why would you why wouldn't you buy a fake pair then? I think <clears> it <throat> had to have crossed every sneakerhead's mind at some point to buy a pair of replica or fake Red Octobers. Yes. I feel like it's had to. One hundred percent. Because those are some that are still trying to be perfected and still be made out there right now. Um so now I mean I think nowadays the, the the issue is is that you just can't tell if anybody's wearing fakes or not. Anyways, so making fun of, making fun of somebody or even laughing or even saying like he got on fakes is almost pointless. The only way you can tell <clears throat> is if it's trash. a colorway that never came out. I mean, the ones that were just like, like the guy at uh, Panera. Yeah, like stuff like that, Wherever and then uh, and then the like all the Yeezy V ones, three fifties. How trash a lot of those were. Like, yeah, there were a lot of trash ones of those. Um, so I don't know. I thought it was uh, somebody sent us that on Twitter and told us that'd be a good thing to uh, discuss. And like I said, I don't, you know, I, I couldn't tell if anybody was wearing a fake or not. Anyways, nowadays, so um, I agree with the, the article pictures somewhat. In this article these put, these joints they have pictures are so. Shout out to House face. Money underscore one one two five J House. Um, actually, that wasn't him. He sent the documentary. Who sent the article? It was Andrew a girl, I think. Anyways, shout out to whoever sent that. Um, so, I don't know. I, I don't know how anybody else feels that listens to podcasts, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's really hard. If I jumped out with a Supreme Louis Vuitton hoodie, I drive a Jaguar, I don't think anybody would be like, that's fake. Like, Oh, I, you sent the link. I, I, it's hard to search for it. 
Now, some of the picks, if somebody came in here and wanted cost fours right now, I wouldn't be able to tell they're fake. Like, uh, the fake stuff now, they're, like, measuring the height, measuring the length of the shoelaces, measuring, like, the whole eyelets. Like, somebody black light. Like, yeah, black light. Like, somebody walking down the street and that stuff, you never notice that garbage. Um, now, I'm not condoning buying fakes because I don't know where that money goes and what happens with that money. Like, like I said, I believe in stuff like that supporting other Shiny. areas of crime and stuff that I don't know about. But, anyways, uh, Air Max voting. Look at that. The fake pair of cars looks like it's better suede right. and materials and way better which, than the real one. Uh, what shoe was was your favorite shoe? Uh, I didn't look at any of them. Didn't I like the blue one. Didn't vote. Like the one that looked like it was like water kind clouds of like floating or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, the, looking I just, at what I saw, finalist. That's <clears> the best one. I voted for that one first, but then I looked at it again and I was like, I hope there's not like material like floating like up the Kobe. Off the, I'm like, like the Kobe. Uh, the one that had the shroud, like the Christmas one, that had the spikes on it. Oh, no! Nah, That's what like, I thought when I looked at like it. Like lacy material around the like. I'm like, bro, they yeah. better not. They better not come with that on there. That should be that gay. one. <laughs> First of all, the other one with the 97 with the regular size swoosh was fire too. I voted on. I only voted twice, and I voted for the one that you just said, the 97 that was light blue with the white bottom, and then the other, the Seoul, the South Seoul, South Korea, the one that's. Black with the regular swoosh over the tiny 97. Uh, first of all, fire. I, like I said, I'm never voting again. It just doesn't matter if we vote or not. Like, we're voting for our L's. Like, I'm not. Well, voting. I think the only reason people voted was because it, Nike. It's fun. No, no, no. Nike did the thing where you, where you like, got access to the Sean Witherspoon. Yeah, sneaker. but how, do y'all know, any, like, did that work for anybody? Like, I don't have a pair. It didn't work for me. Okay. now could have sworn I voted for it. Me but. too. I don't even remember what I voted for. Maybe we didn't log in and vote. Oh. But I definitely felt like I would have voted for that one because the original pictures of it looked extremely fire compared I, to what actually released. Sucked. And I'm definitely selling mine, though. They're just they're going too high. Like, I have to... They're way too high. You, you guys gotta, still have yours? You got to chill out. I don't have one. Okay. I told you I'm not I selling mine. I never had one. Oh, okay. Are you going to wear it? Yeah. I'll trade you something for it, though. Only keeping hype shoes from I'll trade you easy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm, I know a deal when I hear one. I'll trade you something for it, though. No. I'm what? not giving that up. You just said you were going to sell it. Oh, I'm selling it. I'm not giving it up. Uh, I'll Paul. trade you something that's worth what it's worth. No. Um, Why? Why do I got to do that, bro? Then I'll sell my shoe and I'll pay you no. what it's worth. This one's fire, oh, okay. too. Okay, if you want to buy it for the worth, knock yourself out. This or is for, the number for, for 350 That sucks. That's, yeah, that's you smoking. This is the New York shoe. That's the that's the third place to me. Why don't you just take my Vapor Max I voted for, off I voted my Vapor for Max and sell that? It's $10 more. Uh, bruh. <coughs> oh, you know what? What the thing about this is is wow. that no, obviously sucks. Air Max ninety seven, like Air Max ninety sevens reign supreme. Three of three out of six. Yeah, but they six. didn't let people pick whatever they want. They only let them pick like from like ninety eight, ninety seven. Some one yeah, but I'm just saying the six finalists. They're all pretty much Air Max ninety sevens. Like, there's what four. Yeah, but th what I'm saying is there wasn't three, that many four? options to pick. Eh. All right. Uh, I didn't vote because I'm not voting for my O. I'm never gonna You're vote talking about again. that one, right? Is your mic in? Yeah. Bro? Look, it's falling. Yep. Oh, okay, I can hear you. But see, look at this like smoke coming off the top or whatever that is. If that's yeah. like frilly material, I'm gonna be upset. Yay! Look at the three pool tabs in the back. That's what looks crazy to me. <coughs> uh, I mean, if the, I don't have a problem with that. Fire. It's like an aquatic dragon. Uh, all right. Uh, so wait, why are, why are what you else? being militant again? What? I'm not voting because we're not gonna get them. Like I'm not. It's my time. Like to me, I feel like you should be. Once you vote. You should be given like a. You need uh, to have another discussion with DJ Clark. Yeah. You I, I feel like you should be given a code. Like, thank you for voting for what should come out, and you should be able to get it at a later date. You should order it. You should have an AKD. Hey, you order it, take six weeks to get. We all should be able to have a chance to get the shoe. Period. I don't care if it takes two and a half months, three months to get. Why can't I get it? It's a voting thing. I mean, it's not that I disagree with you. You but disagree with me. No, I don't. I just don't understand why that would stop you from like. I'm just not doing it though. If you watch a football game and you hate <laughs> one of the teams on the screen, I mean, you're still watching. Yeah. You voted for Hillary and she didn't win. You I still watched, voted. I watched y'all vote. That's good enough. Like, all right. <laughs> right y'all give me a discussion on what y'all voted for. What did y'all vote for? You voted for Clouds? I think so. I just told you that no, water one and, then, that, and then the black Air Max one with the bigger swoosh. And that's, that didn't make the finalists, right? Yeah. Oh, it did? Was that the gray one then? There was, there was the one winner one. for each city. Oh. Um, mm. Oh, that black one? Oh, okay. Yeah, with the bigger swoosh from 97. You smoking. That was like something that JY will wear. Fire. I voted for the one from New York because you support local. All right. <coughs> uh, <laughs> yes, United States. The uh, one that won from New York or a different one? I was just making sure. Oh, I'm sorry. Sports game. Oh, 
out. Say hi to him now. You've said his name. You have to say hi. You have to acknowledge him. I'm gonna say Jay Wow off uh, Jay Wow Jersey Shore. That's not what that shoe looks like. Shout out to Jay. That's the homie. Um, hey, tell me hit him up in the DMs. Well, I've been out of the DMs. I get too many. Uh, I, get, I can't respond to like some of that stuff. Supreme Court. Supreme. Sports gambling. The, sports the, gambling. the nationwide ban on sports gambling was illegal, not or non constitutional. Shout out Supreme Court. Finally. I mean, I feel like I felt like when they started putting teams in Vegas that they had to change that law eventually. Because that I was mean, like the whole thing that they said. It just didn't make any sense. Why is there a ban? Why is one state allowed to do it and the others aren't? It doesn't make any sense. I had to do with the mafia or something. <laughs> I, anything that Vegas can do, I just automatically feel like it has something to do with the mafia back in the day. And all. I mean, I'm sure that political Cosa Nostra still exists, but I don't them, think they're that big a deal anymore. <laughs> yeah, but I'm thinking political, mafia. That stuff back in the day, I don't know. But I don't look at sports gambling as like... I, I look at like it's bad. Like... I look at the problems that's going to come you with it. You said it's bad or? I look at like, it's cool that like now, because I've always wanted to participate in stuff like DraftKings and stuff like that. I've always wanted to give that. But you're afraid you're going to lose your house? I've always wanted to give it a shot. They oh, no, no, no. I'm not afraid trash. of stuff like that. I don't know if it's, I don't know anything about that stuff. See, this is your world of expertise, all right? I don't like it. The things that I look at when it comes to stuff like this being legal is the problems that come with it. I feel like scrapping and fighting and stuff at bars are going to be like at an all-time high. Crime is going to go up what? a little bit. Bruh. What? Stuff like that what? is a series of things that happens. What are you talking about? It's Bruh, when you start doing stuff like that, bars are going to be packed to capacity now with stuff like that. You mean like just people extra going just to watch ex- the game who even wouldn't if watch you're the game? Not, you don't have to actually like basketball to bet on something. Betting and gambling is just, it's the sport. I don't give a shite about who's I mean, on the, the Vegas. Timberwolves. And Why are Vegas people going to be that scrapping and fighting? Sit- if I'm at a bar, I'm not betting him. It doesn't matter. I've been to Vegas 50 plus times. I grew up three and a half hours from Vegas. I'm I, telling I've never you seen this Vegas like based that. off of my professional experience of when I see stuff that changes in the state of Arizona. Other things, facts. All right. Yes, California if you stuff. legalize crack. Okay. No, actually, I think that would make it less bad than it is. Things happen. I, I, I bet anything too. Stuff like you know NBA coming on like ABC and stuff like that. Why the heck they was? I think sports would come on all premium channels after that. Like they would only watch basketball on ESPN. You wouldn't be able to watch a Saturday game on ABC and stuff like that. Like why is that? Because they're gonna want that money too. Like. They're going to want that value, bro. I'm telling you, other things will happen, will take place if sports gambling becomes illegal in the state of Arizona. I guarantee it, bro. Why? I, I believe it. Cable prices, I believe it go through the roof. Uh, I do. Uh, because I, more people are demanding to watch the game? Because more people are demanding to watch sports just to participate in the stuff that I 100% believe. I don't think it's a universal thing like that. Like, I don't think that many bro. people are going to. People, the only people who are going to so care are you about, investing in Cox? No, the bars. only the only people who are gonna who are gonna care about sports gambling is the people who already have an <coughs> offshore account or go to Vegas. Yeah, often. Most it. people already sports gamble. Yeah, I mean, okay, <coughs> yes, but the ones who don't even feel like bothering with that stuff can participate now. It's like like, like his know. example, like hold on, his example of doing this horse betting. Tell that story right now, because that that's probably what he's talking about. But that you were better what forty five bucks the whole time you were there or something? No, we started with. Three dollars each, six dollars total, and turned it into forty five, and then we lost it and left. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like your we max like, bet was like forty five bucks. Yeah, and you almost got slapped up by an old man. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, we well, yes for yeah. cheering for our horse. Yeah. Yes, he was. Now upset let me let me let me be horse, in yes. let me be in Twin Peaks, yes. and one person going for one team, I'm going for yeah, other. But that and we ha- went. But we've been to Vegas a million times. You don't. But see that. that's the same thing. That's like, when we go to Twin setting, Peaks, though. that's a different set. Okay, but what's you're, so you're saying because it's going to be brand new, so people don't know how to act. People don't know how to. So let me ask you this: What's the difference between that and you going to watch? The Cowboys and the Browns, and their Browns are slapping them up, and I'm cheering for the Browns. How's that different? Because a team, my team losing, first of all, the only people that actually scrap over a victory of a team are Raiders fans. Are Raiders fans, Cardinals fans, San Diego Chargers fans, 49er fans, sometimes Cowboys fans. Facts. Those are fools. If you're willing to put hands, I think it's any Dodgers, NFL team, and Dodgers, Broncos Giants, fans, any NFL team. No, not any NFL all, team. Bro, oh. you're not seeing. Watch the videos on the internet. Actually, they're all scrapping. I have actually been the, the entire been, AFC West. The entire AFC been, West. Scraps. I have been to multiple Cowboys Cowboys games in, in Dallas Stadium. Have never witnessed or seen a scrap 
ever against the Redskins. I have never witnessed one. I went to the Cardinal Stadium wearing a Des Bryant jersey just to sell my tickets to somebody and almost got scrapped up. And that was at 7 a.m. All right, facts. I think, I think it's the same. The NFL encourages tailgating, drinking, and all that stuff. Right. I think, he is right I think that's a problem at every NFL stadium. I, I, bro, I was, I, went, a, I was at a Cardinal game where somebody got shot in the head in the parking lot outside. Now, I'm aware that happens in the, yes, in, in but the I'm west and southern point, part of the country. But it also point, happens at Jets games, Patriots games, Giants games, all that stuff too. His point is those people that are willing to scrap over their team losing and stuff are just different people. Let me tell you something. If I got 100 bucks riding on something and you got 100 bucks riding the other one and you wiling out because you won money, see, my team losing does nothing to me, just makes me upset. Yeah, but my, my team point, losing and I lost my money, I might get Yeah, scrapped. but my point right. is why do we not see that in Vegas? Because I don't see Vegas that in Vegas. Vegas is a different thing because we know that's the safe haven place to do it. Like, that's the that's the place to do it. You go there, you do it. You know what you're getting into. This is for that. We're People talking about getting into here. Bruh. screaming and yelling at the TVs there. No one fights. Bruh. That, because that's a different setting, bro. And, and first of all, ain't nobody scrapping in Vegas. All right, you only scrap on the Strip. Facts. All right, no one's scrapping inside of a casino watching us, but no one's doing anything <laughs> like that. I in don't. Vegas. I just don't get that argument. I, now, if I you do. now if you said I, like I'm just saying, uh, to me, if you I said feel like uh, the one that the argument that makes I don't believe in it, but the argument that would make more sense is people are going to start getting paid off and teams are going to. F- Throw games. I mean, that's just that comes with the territory. I, I know think that's that already happen, happens. That's, that's, I think that happens already too. I don't. I don't believe it. But pawn shops, pawn shops are gonna be flourishing out here, bro. With what? People selling their people stuff. People selling to their stuff to get money, bro. See, you guys think that the people who do it people now can, can not just do it. Play the lottery and go to the casino and do it. What do you yeah. mean? I'm talking about people who now, when it comes to sports betting, they want to do it, but they don't. They're not gonna go. You see, you put in forth the effort to sports bet. Like there's, you have to put in. Yeah, effort but here you, to sports I mean, bet. like you can gamble. Look, you can go to the grocery store and spend five hundred dollars on scratch tickets. Like That's you said, different, bro. you can go put a hundred dollars in a slot machine. You okay. ain't tipping the slot machine That's over different. and punching the woman if, next to you. If <laughs> your scratchers, if your scratchers have an effect on my scratchers, and we scratch mine, and I lose. And you win. It does. No, it doesn't. If you and I go buy four scratchers, you buy two, I buy two, and it's a one in four odds of winning, and I win on one of my two, and you lose on both of your two, you're mad. We're hitting. We're in here doing a podcast. Browns playing the Cowboys, and the Cowboys is just bullshitting. And I got two hundred riding on, and it lost. I don't, I felt like scrapping when I lost my Pharrells when they they lost on the bet. Let you Not be in here. Much. Let you be in here wilding out. You won five hundred. I lost three hundred bucks. I, bro, chill out. But now maybe I'm talking about myself personally. I, I think it's you. I, I've, I've never, never I'm telling person. you. I've I'm never telling t- you stuff will get a little different. For I've a little never while. talked to one sports better ever who <clears throat> was that upset. And I've seen people yell. I told you the story when we were in there for the tournament. You got, and told, Phil, to, Phil you got and, told to shut the F up at a horse race. Phil and right. that man. No, at a bar watching a horse race on a television. Yeah, you got told that. and Because, because why? Because y'all was happy, all right? Yeah. And he was sad. He just right? didn't like happiness. He hadn't yeah. listened to Kanye. He all wasn't right. He wasn't living in love. I'm telling you, things happen when certain things happen. I'll give you an example. Now, not when certain concerts are in town, specific things happen in the state of Arizona that people aren't aware of. I know this. Okay. We take... There's I plenty of bookies out here like that, that will book... Take hey, books, man. take tickets right as now. As of right now, and smash your legs. Stuff like legal that. As hell, but I don't. Let me tell you, care. in the in the state of Arizona, I'm sorry, city of Phoenix, the amount of crime that had to do with gambling was barely double digits. Uh, barely double digits of crime that had to do with gambling, bro. Uh, when gambling, they let gambling. Stop it, bro. I'm telling you. And now this is just me. I'm just guessing. I'm just thinking. People don't know how to act when it comes to stuff like this, bro. In California, they legalized marijuana and stuff like that. Man, robberies and barely went through the roof. All right. Additionally to that, even though it's legal, bro, went through the roof. All right. Hey, man, I'm just talking about my point of view of what I think. You'll be seeing divorces go through the roof. You see people going home, slapping their wives. That, going through okay, the roof. yes. You right. Oh, so you think a man that go to work all day, come home and slap his wife, he go to the bar, lose his money, and had a hard day at work, he ain't go home and slap his wife? I think he was his wife either way. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the I'm scenario saying, you bro. just gave me, it sounded you, like he just put one you. more step in between. Yeah, bro. You <laughs> I think I'm just saying. Look. You said he's going to go home and slap his wife or he's going to go <laughs> to the bar and then go home and slap his wife. <laughs> I might be talking crazy, bro. But, bro, you go to the bar, have a couple beers, and the you out, also, the you, you also Both of them ended the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it was A to C or A and B got to C, the outcome was all slapping the wife. I'm telling you, I see stuff That's happening. That's messed up. Bro. Me too. Cowboys defensive lineman man didn't need to lose a bet to slap his wife. That's bro. different, he slapped man. Him anyways. Oh, That's Bryant or not? Des Bryant. Uh, Ray Rice didn't lose a bet. <laughs> they were in Vegas though. We have no idea what were took they in place. Vegas? Yeah, no, they were in Atlantic City, I think. 
All right, maybe. Yeah, you... but sports betting is not illegal. I was not uh, legal there until just now. <sighs> Look, man, I'm I'm seeing something different than other people. I could care less. I I'm more like, oh man, cool. I get to give it a shot. I could easily give you money and you go do some bets. You've been doing it for years, uh, decades probably. Right? Okay, thank God it's legal now. <laughs> I'm just, just blow saying. George's whole <laughs> operation covered. He's talking about. Look, <clears throat> I'm just saying. All right. I don't want to put forth the effort to do anything like that because it's too many steps. Now it's legal. Oh, I'm going to give stuff a shot. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to throw a hundred here see what happens. Uh, yeah. Right. Bro. But I don't know how I'm going to react. <laughs> you know? I hope you don't slap your wife. Okay. I'm not <laughs> That's not in me, fam. Anyways. I'll be betting every single day, just so we're clear. I know you are. You already do. And you're every be, single and day. And you're already no, an I angry don't. person. I haven't, had a, I haven't uh, loaded my account in a long time. You're already an angry person, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Let you let you your lose, Twitter's let you, gonna be out of control. You, let you lose best legally. Yeah, but I'm responsible better though. There's a <laughs> difference between me and somebody else. I know what my budget is to lose, and once I do that, is it? Mm. When it's just free for every season. It like when I was doing that for every season, it was like two three hundred bucks. That's not that much when I'm over an entire NFL season, bro. You'll you know. be able to walk into like. Oh, beer you don't Joe even need shop. to go in there. You, there will yeah, be an app. See, be like I would do like goofy shit. There's already like, an app in, in like Las five Vegas. bucks on a sixteen parlay to try to win hundred bucks. Okay, I would yeah. do shit like that. Yeah, you well, you win more than hundred, but yeah, yeah you'd you'd saying. start out you know that mean? way. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then I you snowball start that way, <laughs> and then I get uh, the urge. Yeah, then you get that. When I go to Vegas, I'm grand. not out of control. I like last time I went to Vegas, I took twelve hundred bucks or something. I Good bet, God. I bet four hundred and left with the same amount of money. I think actually, I think I won one hundred fifty. Hey man, I see something others don't see. But I didn't bet. All oh, right, odds are I could be wrong. But I didn't right. bet all twelve hundred in one sitting. Or this is an over. Re- this is a typical Greg overreaction, just like the Kanye stuff. Oh please. <laughs> Anyways, no, nah, he was right there. Anybody else got anything else? I think a about? lot of people fed up with Kanye. People were talking about like the prices went up twenty percent or something on Kanye. Did you see that? I didn't see that. No. Nope. You talking about like Risa? After that happened, prices went up because I, I didn't know. notice that. Because I sold some blue tents. Because all, all the Republicans <laughs> I started buying. Blue I sold blue tents for a uh, good amount. All the Republicans started <laughs> buying. <laughs> Trump, Trump put a a buy. They did. Uh, they did a buy on they easy. Did, they did welcome Kanye in real Tariff. quick with open arms. They started putting them tweets and everything. <laughs> Tariffs on Yeezys. Um, anything else we talking about? No, Shout I'm out trying to, to find where I text you up my list. Oh, I'll send it to you. See, you don't even know your list, bro. No, I know it. I mean, I send it. I text it to you. What right? are we talking about? Top ten, what? Top ten. So wait, shoes of all, like, top, top ten, ten shoes of all time. Out, we like, regret six buying. Come out, you're not trying to cop. Trying to cop and knowing I'm not going to cop it. Okay, things, so. you need to relax because there's a lot of shoes that you're like copped, and I'll be like, we ain't getting them, and you'd be like, bro, we getting them. So, oh no, when I say this, when like, when I them. say when I say cop, I mean I'm paying retail. Actually, I don't even regret number six anymore. Now I think about it. All right, well, you can regret these nuts. Oh, I'm still trying to read this story sure. here to Man, see what the look. All right, what you the, just you just get your money ready for the bets, all right, for the gambling. All right, it's already ready. And I, I yeah, try to I try to load up. Uh, I try to sign up on a website. Wow. I try to sign up on a website last month because I've been yeah. I've been tracking and charting plays. <laughs> and in my and in my charting, I'm up two grand. I wish I would have been betting the entire time. Man, if you don't eat these, um, I can show it to you right now. You, see you might be one of the worst betters I've ever known personally. That's definitely not true. He only wins when he doesn't bet. Yeah, you're the greatest That's better. <laughs> you're the greatest. That's absolutely true. He's he's wealthy. And, <laughs> he's up so two thousand dollars in the last like three weeks. Wealth is the heart and the mind, not in the pocket. MLB, <laughs> NBA, and NHL. Dead serious. Put I can show you the app right now. We're definitely coming out with T-shirts like in the next three weeks or something. So I'm gonna need you guys to come up with some ideas or something. I have an idea for something. I got nothing. I got save my soul. That's all I got. Okay. Shout out to Save My Soul. <laughs> Shout out to the Southern Soul Co. Um, Thank you for the shirts. Well, we need something for shirts. Though. We need something. All right. Because we need some Sneak dick. All right. All right. <laughs> um, that's, when most, you, that's when you end up on Dr. Phil. <coughs> most, uh, boring, <laughs> most boring podcast. <laughs> you end up on Maury, though. Top Oh, you were sneak dicking, were you? All right. <laughs> you couldn't wait to say that. All out your mouth. Uh, top gang, gang, gang. Ten, top <laughs> ten sneakers we regret copying. <laughs> Here's Greg's top five. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, fam. Gang, gang. All of a sudden, fam. <laughs> oh my god, that video for a million was so bad. You don't stop saying that, bro. 
Oh, for a million. I've been watching a lot of. But these, he was dancing on the beach. Oh, yeah, I we missed the. These are Merrill the ones that started doing all that stuff. Oh, well, huh? what? All that like that. No, I've been watching oh, a lot of these Merrill videos. You worse than these Merrill. You right? Merrill needs to come on this podcast. Quit bullshitting with me. You know? <laughs> Gang, 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 gang. All of a sudden, get none of that from all of a sudden, guy. All of a sudden, I also want to know more about this corgi interaction. That's a corgi needs to get on the podcast. All right, is somebody got to come in here? Somebody's about to. That door, unless it's a ghost. End like eight thirty for them. Anyways, it's only seven thirty right now. Top ten sneakers that we regret copying. Okay, and yes, for all the woke sneaker heads, I get it. You don't regret anything. Shut up. All right, and I can't. I, I already know they be like, no regrets. I don't regret any cops, no fam. Regrets. Because you know what? I don't resell. I don't regret. Man, shut up. Okay. Top ten sneakers, and this means at the moment. There have been times you copped it and been like, oh, God dang it. All right, at the moment. And yes, we could return them sometimes. Sometimes you can't. Top ten sneakers we regret copying. Anybody got any honorable mentions? Oh shit, yeah. Because I just got one in the mail like two days ago. <laughs> 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 what y'all got? Uh, that Humble we love Nike pack. Air Max One is trash cans. What's that? Oh my god, you bought those. What's that? <laughs> With the sneaker boxes on the Air Max. Oh, the, oh, the blue one, <laughs> the royal suck. one. You bought that. You what had no business got? buying that. Oh, oh, that was trash can. Pre-selling for retail. He should have just waited. You knew I, it wasn't a sit. Uh, it was trash can. Those the only one out of that whole pack that's okay is the 95. And no, I know you not. guys hate None 95s. Are. So they all I said, suck. I said okay. Dick. I said Those okay. Suck. And you guys um, hate 95s. So. What else I got? That's my only honorable mention, I think. Yeah, what do you got? I'm going to you got any? KD5 DMV. Which one was the DMV? The oh, one. the oh, red one. Yeah. The sauce one. Yeah. yeah, the one that was like I got one on my neon list, green. Though. They were no neon red. It was, that was it another was red. That was another, like, that was another Wale trick shoe. Wale put that shoe on. I was like, oh, those are fire. KD5s were a trick shoe. Uh, uh, Wale they got it. There's another one on the list. <laughs> I, got, yeah, I got a KD5 on my list. Uh, I'm going to mention, I can't think of any right. I mean, I know there's something out there, but I can't think of any right now. Um, I don't know. I'll probably think of something afterwards. Uh, who wants to go first? You want to go first? I'll go first. You Number sure? 10. You sure? You sure? What you got? Ronnie Feig Puma Blaze COA. Because it was probably the most uncomfortable shoe I've ever put on my foot. Is that the one you bought too? No. In my entire life. life. Yeah, but he's talking about the one with the stupid dial. With, yeah, the, oh. the, the, the disc. Oh, all right. Well, what you, you didn't say suck. So it hurt. So, I thought they were tight looking, but they hurt so bad. No Puma's comfortable. Uh, we're doing top Does five. Does that or bottom disc five? tighten five, the five. shoe up? What is the is the disc yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like laces. Like laces. Uh, Instead of laces. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. okay. You still got them? No, I sold them. Oh, okay. Um, number nine, the Bait Asics Guardians suck. Super suck. They were the That's ones. That's the one that was like Golden State Warriors and no, San Francisco no, 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 Giant no, 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 colorways. No, no. They, oh, those the are pack. the one. Those are the Bait Jell Eye Threes that oh, were like three, yeah. that were like. Remember the Navy ones had like star. That, I, I bought the pack the, too. The yeah, the Navy one was the nip and blue with like blue dots. Then there was a camo one. This up. Then there was this one, which was like uh, camo agree. under with like a fucking weird white Bro, mesh what over it, that. Wait, what is it? They were fucking terrible. Some of the, the worst. Bait some, Asics Guardian Gel Some three. of the worst materials in the history yes. of sneakers. Uh. Yeah, they were terrible. <laughs> um, number eight. The Extra Butter Asics Copperheads Gel Eye Threes. Extra those aren't that bad, are See, they? I don't know why you don't like those. Cause oh, the Guardian. I'll tell you why I don't like them. This brown one? Because Treo fucking bought two pairs those? of them. Because yeah. Treo bought two pairs of them. Yeah, those fucking suck. Because <laughs> Treo bought two pairs of them. I can't I believe like pair. these. Bro, there's got to be worse stuff that you bought than this. Because Treo bought two pairs of them, and I wanted a pair. And he was like, ah, I'm not selling them, I'm not selling them, I'm not selling them. And then this motherfucker probably tried it on. <laughs> And dropped fucking taco grease on it, and he sold it to me, and I didn't realize until I got it home that he had fucking smeared grease on the toe box. <laughs> so that's why you hate those, not because they suck? Yeah. But it's bad buys, though. Oh, my God. I left one off here that should have been on. I got another honorable mention now. How is that a bad buy? I don't know. If you like the shoe. I don't. I never, I've never worn it. Um, uh, yeah, if you one, spend money powder on blue threes. you can't wear it. Powder blue threes. Powder blue threes. <laughs> honorable mention. <laughs> <laughs> a any three that's not any three that's not a uh, cement white black or just garbage period oh those are uh, katrina's by the way Dude, i didn't know that was a pe did you know that mm-hmm. for who chris ball derrick anderson pe back oh. in the day when he was with portland mm. um derrick anderson was pretty good let's be honest here he was pretty good number Tension seven was high. he was pretty good he played in the nba for a long time he just stayed healthy number seven three pairs of supreme camo fives 
But why is that a bad buy? Because I paid five hundred for all, like all of three of them. I think. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad. What buy. they don't sell for that much or more? I think you, no. I'd be lucky to get my money back on them. Maybe. I thought they were going to be like a thousand. I thought they were, I could like, well, trade yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I know they don't sell for eight hundred, but I mean, they still sell for five hundred. <laughs> DS, don't they or no? I think I paid like two thirty for my worn pair, which is, is the pair wrong? I wear. The other two I paid, I think I paid four seventy five for one and five for one. About three for five hundred. Um, Why don't you list them on go- uh, StockX? Number six, I bought five pairs of Royal Ones. <laughs> Why are these bad buys? You can make for retail? Three for retail and two for 200 Like just recently, Air, yeah, Man, yeah. Air Force One. I mean, uh, Jordan uh, Air Jordan One. Yeah. Oh, that's not a bad buy. Not a bad buy. Because uh-huh. you guys made me feel stupid when I said because I bought six pair of but Yeah, but then you sixes. could make money on them. Yeah, and I did, and I sold them all for like a grip. I only got like two left. That can't what? be. You, bro, you, bro, you bought some whack stuff for that stuff. Yeah, you bought way whack stuff, stuff than that. Bro. The Air Force One Galaxy. Is that your full bottom five? Definitely should oh, be on that. Yeah. <laughs> That's your bottom five? Yeah. George, you want to go next to me? <clears throat> yeah, I'll go. What you got? Uh, Number 10. The <laughs> why I bought it, I have no idea. And the only reason I bought it is because I thought Ultra Boost uh, uncaged, we're gonna go like this. <laughs> uncaged. No, I bought a seven and a half from. In. Oh. I bought a US. I think it was a UK or a UK eight or a seven and a half, and it was a US eight, and it was the one I told you I was like, I can't make money back because prices went like that, and I was like, I'm just gonna give it to Hannah. Well, I finally sold it on StockX like a long time ago. Was that like a parlay? I or think something? I lost a couple bucks on the. I was like, mm. I thought them joints were gonna go like this. There's no such thing as that. And it's ultra Bruh, that that was a time when Adidas was at the height. <laughs> that was before OSHA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, number nine, Jordan 11, low white red. <laughs> Why oh, we were at those Chic? Are bad buys. We so. bought like eight of those yeah. at Chic. The red bottom? Yeah. yeah. I bought those off you for No, no, no. Bucks. Not the red oh, right. le- patent leather. The not, cherry? Yeah, no, the red that. bottom. Yeah, the like red the bottom. Like the red bottom, all white yeah, patent all leather white, with the yeah. red bottom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We went to Chic and <clears throat> camped in front of Chic, and we were first and second in line. I caught And we had no idea if Chic was even getting them. Because it was like. Scott's them all? Yeah, it was like the days before like they would announce what they had. And we were trying to call stores of like Sheik's furthest east store because it would open however many hours before the Arizona store to see if they had them. You don't and see them often. And then I think often. we went to Nike Scottsdale after that and we caught did. more. Yeah, I caught you don't five see pairs them, of those. You don't see them often. So they don't really suck, but they just No, the shoe doesn't we suck, but yeah. why did we buy We just eight had no business six of them or whatever. We, did. we yeah. put in too much work for those. And then uh, then my way. five pairs of Royal is a bad buy. No, Royal. You're talking about Royal One, which is one of the best shoes of all time. Yeah. Versus Air Max, I mean Air Jordan Eleven, low white red. They sell no, for like three fifty. Even nope. if you decided okay. to personally, no own one should own those. One. Right, I own those. Fine. No one should. I own bought them from him. <laughs> exactly. Go ahead. He explained it. <laughs> uh, number eight, LeBron Nine, low Easter. Oh, Bro, I, yeah. I don't oh know shit! I traded Actually, somebody Cyber those. is probably worse. I probably God just said Cyber. I, I wish I would have gone through my shoes to sell before I made this list. I Pick traded one. those for a, a Black Summit <laughs> three. <laughs> uh, that was crazy. Uh, Cyber Easter pick yeah, one. They any of those? Them. I was gonna put that on my I list, bought, but you the one that bought them. <laughs> I bought. We copped them from that website. Liverpools. Man. Oh, bro! Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no! Yeah. Not only did I buy Liverpool's, but Trejo and I Is called. It on your list? No, because no. no. I forgot I had it, and I bought Plummet Fake, Plummet Fake Nine Lows, Plummet Nines. Oh, those aren't on. Oh, no, wait, yeah, oh, wait, okay. uh, but, don't ruin no. the list yet. But not only that, but Trejo and I called like Desert Sky and asked if they had Liverpool's and if they had two nine and a halfs, and then begged the lady to hold them for us. <laughs> And drove like 90 miles per hour from my house. Nobody cared about them. No except way. for us. They had to have had them at a closer mall. Though. Bruh. What are the ones? <laughs> that was your uh, first thing was to call them? I guess. <laughs> I, mean, I just remember driving. No, no, no. Trey was what? like, I'm thirsty. I was like, we can't stop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We got somewhere to be. What are the other ones you bought a grip of with the eye on it? They were like Lizard LeBron Swamp Things or something. Oh, I bought one. Oh, I thought oh, you had five of those. Those right, yeah. suck. There's a lot of stuff that should have been. There's a lot there. of LeBron low nines that suck. I might even throw Floridians in there. Ugh. Nah, you made money on those. Yeah. I got two pairs of LeBron Palmers. It's just not suck. a bad buy LeBron if you made money on it. Ah, it depends, man. No, you thought those were fire. We were in line at Chic, and he left and went to House of Hoops. I did. And to copped to like, there was like two pairs left. It was two back. shoes that came out the same time that day. Yeah. Cop what? And Chic wasn't getting them. The Floridians. Oh. That's yeah, when the line, nines. the line was through the mall at House of Hoops. Good God. Yeah. All right. Number seven, Air Max Hyperposite, Statue of Liberties. Oh, oh, oh I, I, I can't get rid of those. 
Joes. <laughs> the Joes are going through the roof. I got them uh, for death. I, I think I may have made money on them, in all honesty, but I'm just saying. Like, yeah, I had did. to send them to Flight Club and sell them to Flight no, Club. No, I got definitely them, made money with them. I got them dead like on eBay for like $150. There's no the problem with oh, those. Oh, every Barkley posit I have. The oh. problem with those is. That's when like stuff like Statue of Liberty was like, oh yeah, Ooh, them joints are actual boots. Like, you can't yeah, tell winter, me they're not New boots. York boots. Like they're actual Goa domes. Like you can't tell me they're not. All right, what's your number six? Or that that, would it? that Berkeley, I only bought one Berkeley posit and it would have made the list, but I checked my eBay. Berkeley I sold that, posit. I sold that joint for three twenty-five. You sold it to RJ. I have three. No, 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 no. I sold it on eBay for three twenty-five. But I sold one for you to RJ. I met him at Albertsons. No, you bought. No, LeBron. you gave me one to sell to RJ, and I met RJ that was in the uh, ASU group. I, I bought the Chinas from him. You I picked don't those remember. up. Something. Size 13. I have Anyways, three Barclays. Number six, I just, I just said another KD was on here. KD5 Christmas. The, like, fuzzy KD blue, fuzzy Christmas. TV fuzzy screen TVs. or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, those suck. But we made some money on those. Uh, Back then, Christmas, though, we made money off of them. Yeah, I don't know about that. They were supposed to be video games. Those suck. Or maybe that's what it was, yeah. Uh, Ugly sweaters or whatever they called it. Number fuzzy 10. TV, trash. Number 10, the... Recent boost you wear the BYWs. <laughs> I know I'm selling them to you, but them joints are so <laughs> uncomfortable. You said it was like the most comfortable shoe in the world, so I wanted it. I have never said that ever. <laughs> what are you talking? I said I hate. I said it cut the circulation off my foot. It's like foot's bent. I don't like like it. high heels. Number nine. Did it make you taller. Number nine. Yes. Okay. Number nine. Um, Air Zoom Generations, the black ones that just came out, that might have been the worst materials ever on a sneaker. Air Zoom Generation. The, the oh, LeBron, LeBron ones, the black uh, ones. Yo, those oh, those are Oh, my hands. God, those suck. You got those? Number They're eight. Plastic. Number eight, another Wale, <coughs> another Wale <laughs> magic. Y'all got a lot of Wale stuff. Henny oh, 5 Dolphins. Oh, yeah, I was going to put that on Bruh. there. The, the, the hyperposite or whatever it is made it over What there. made that stupid was when me and you were in the store looking at them, we were like, these are awful. And we still <laughs> bought them. We still left with them. They weren't awful he at first got glance. The sons. He, probably got, sucked, he probably got all the colors. He had them all. Have or have still. Orlando. Uh, Dolphins. Have still. Dolphins. We bought cloaks. Yeah. Cloaks. Yeah. We had cloaks. Have still? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think the shoe sucked. It was something about it that wasn't right. <laughs> you better know they're all DS, I assume. No. Oh, oh my. <laughs> yeah, you need to sell. You need to I wore I wore Orlando's. You and, need to be on uh, GOAT. You got to get your GOAT account. Bro. I wore Orlando's and I wore... Uh, if you don't have a GOAT account, <coughs> a failure. Oh, yeah, we got to open one of them things, too. What? I, Simon Store? That I texted it. All right. Oh. That I, I texted know. about uh, that app for selling. Okay, we'll look at that later. Only, like... It, it's good for like people with large the, social media somebody just following. Put, we have a lot of big Max social, social media following. So number seven, Kobe eight Mamba Curials. Nah, uh, that should be on there. Suck. First of all, we paid what two seventy five for them, three hundred. I got Man, those two pairs for retail. And sold no, the you for like did four hundred. Those don't I suck. I bought them on eBay. Yeah, it's one of the greatest Kobe eights of all time. To me. Kobe eight Mamba Curials <laughs> are trash. Okay. Number six. Oh, I got another honorable mention. Number six. I got to look what this is even called. They suck so bad. Number six, uh, Puma Feig Kith Blaze of Glories. Those suck. All right. The box was fire. All right. The leather materials are fire. The insole is fire. But when you got to say stuff like the insole is fire, they're garbage. <laughs> all right. Garbage. Insole and Tinker 3 is fire. Okay. Number the only thing fire on Tinker Threes is the red pull tab and the swoosh and the the Tinker autograph inside the and the zone. swoosh. That's it. All right, and the swoosh. It's crazy. It looks retro. Go ahead. Number five. LeBron Ten Christmas and <sighs> slash LeBron Ten Cutting Jade. Um, LeBron Tens didn't suck. They just were too gigantic. George had some. He was gonna keep Miami's. <laughs> they got took them back. We something. all had Miami ones, I think. What is with those in Miami Dolphin stuff back in Wale? The day? <laughs> I think it's a Wale. Wale effect. <laughs> what else you got? Number four. The Air Force Max Area 72s. Oh, yeah, those Trash. Suck. We sold those for a lot of money, though. We never got them. Yeah, we the did. Barkley ones? Yeah. I never got a pair of the Barkley. I think you did. I checked. I thought I checked my eBay. No, you probably there. did. I did. Oh. Those were. Well, wait, the Galaxy or the next year? The Galaxy. Oh, no, we didn't get those. Okay, we yeah, got we the one those. the next year. The Galaxy was hard to. What was the next year? There was no the, Galaxy Barkley. Is it about the OG? No, no, no. Whatever came out the next year for the All Star Pack, maybe it was a Barkley Posit, but it was. It was like, that was the, the same Kobe pack. Pizza. 
Kobe pizza. Yeah, it was the same pack. LeBron? No, yeah. but I'm talking about the Galaxy pack with the Galaxy foam was the year before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's two different. Yeah, Area 72. Was Area 72? No, Area 72 was in Galaxy. Area 72, Area 72 was the year was, after Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Galaxy. So there was no yeah, so Area those. 72. We didn't get the Galaxy one. That was the gray there one was that no, was like all 3M. That was a penny. Uh, Air Mac, the Air Force Max. No. Nice. I think you mix it up. The penny. No, Galaxy, the Air penny Force was Max. the Galaxy. Oh, okay, okay. No, Galaxy no, 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 no. pack. What was in the Galaxy pack? Foam? Air, Air Force Max. <coughs> no. No. Yes, there was. It was a penny. No, was it? It, it was, was a penny gray. flight. It three it was a That's penny like flight. No, no, no. no. It's a penny flight. It's on my eBay. No. Check my oh, eBay. That's no, no. That's a uh, uh, Nike Air Flight 1. Yeah. I tried to get the yes, guy. I understand no, I was gonna scrap him up. Barkley came out too. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. No, Barkley was the next year. The The Air Force Max was the next year. Barkley came out with Area 72 pack. Galaxy. This is the one you're thinking that. of. No, I'm it's not. on my eBay. Seven ninety nine. No, I know what an Air Flight One is. I'm not thinking of that. He Wait tried to. Minute. He tried to get that. it. All right, you're not copping that. You had a chance to cop that years later for like about seventy two dollars, and you said no. Right. <laughs> okay, Barkley. The ones he's talking about only came out of Area seventy two. They didn't yeah. come out in a Galaxy pack. This is from the Galaxy pack, you freaks. No, that's, that's Area from Area seventy two. They had the alien inside of it. Yeah, had the alien newspaper. You freak. That's what we're trying to tell you. That's Area 72. Galaxy was the Kobe Big Bang, LeBron Big Bang. This says Or not Galaxy. Kobe Space. No, 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 no. No, it's not. They're wrong. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. Area 72, the alien stuff. <clears throat> yeah, this one thing says Galaxy. Uh, this is Flight Club. This is your holy grail. F Flight Club. No? They probably owe me, they probably owe me money still. Well, Flight Club and Go have merged, so you're basically saying F Go. I got my uh, 150th point on GOAT, so now I don't have to put pictures up anymore. I can sell whatever Scammer. I want. What you got? Number the benefits of selling on GOAT. Three. Do I have a number three? I might not have a number three. Yeah, you do. Oh, the CJ81 Calvin Johnson Hirachi 3M oh trainers. Oh, my God. Why did I fucking buy those? Anything Calvin Johnson now is garbage. Right. I forgot Num he even played football. All right. He's retired. A dancer now. He just retired. It's whack. Number two, Penny Five, Orlando's, and Miami's. Oh, why I bought this? Because of Wale. Because of Wale. <laughs> Wale owes me money. Yeah, Wale owes us an explanation too. <laughs> Number one, my biggest regret sneaker purchase of all time. Air Force One Lunar Area 72s. <laughs> I bought that shoe for $150 and did not buy. You had them joints in the trunk. For and a long did not time. buy a Royal One. I bought that instead of a Royal One. Oh, that's right. He could have got a Royal One at <laughs> Arizona Mills and he chose Air Force Lunar. Wait, 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 wait. When they came out in 2013? He has spent too much and money. And sold for like $500? He has spent too much money on Galaxy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he has spent too much money on all. Why did? How did they stuff. have one sitting? Number one, and didn't they hold it for you? They held the, the yeah, royal. Somebody didn't pick it up, and they were like, "Hey, yeah. you can come get it if you want it." And I was like, "Oh, that's spent too much, money. bro. You are a moron." Pull up the phone, call back. He's like, "Oh, let's go. we went to Sheik <clears throat> in Scottsdale Mall, and Damien was there, and uh, somehow he was like, what, third in line or something?" Oh, yeah, and all the right. little kids are behind him, and they ran out before we could get a shoe. We went to Desert Sky. I think they had like nine pairs in the middle of work to go pick up. Uh, the purple area, 72 LeBron. Oh, no, we went to Arizona Mills. They held them for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. No, uh, we won the raffle or whatever it No, was. we didn't. Remember, I called them and told them where I worked at, and they were like, you know oh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And All they right. were like, bro, for it's you, a... anything. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Um, Sold them joints for like 350 uh, or something like that. Uh, what's so what you guys suck, too. What's your, your top up. five? They do <laughs> what? the LeBron pizza pack or whatever those suck. No, they Not don't. Pizza pack. Area 72. Area 72. I don't You're care. Joking. The Kobe shoes are pizza. I'm calling it pizza pack. No, the I don't Kobe care. Yeah. Not the LeBron. Yes, I they understand don't that. Suck. They suck. No, the best part of that entire pack was the newspaper. All right. What are you that LeBron about? does not suck. The LeBron sucks. Are you talking about the same one we're talking about? Yes. That purple one that's like with the speckled three M's. That's a LeBron ten. Yeah. You just, so you yeah. think the LeBron Christmas is. 10 Christmas is worse than that one. Yeah. You're smoking sticks. LeBron Christmas 10 is not ugly. It's just a whack shoe. No, the shoe is tight. The shoe is just big. All right. Those, those suck. A LeBron 10. No, they don't. A LeBron 10 Christmas is <laughs> way better than LeBron 10 area 72. No, it's not. Oh, my God. You can wear God. it to Suns games. They suck. Man. Just because you can wear it, bro. You can wear this a Sun game. You said they suck. Facts. Yeah, it's not a basketball shoe. <laughs> 
Why does it need to be a basketball shoe? What are we talking about? Oh, man. You wore Air Max One to baseball. You wore baseball a cleat. You wore baseball cleat next time. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, I know you own enough to be able to do it. Yes. You probably can I'm wear a different Jordan. one to all eighty one games. I'm wearing Jordan fours. <laughs> what Jordan fours. Weren't like you one? wearing an entire Browns? Uh, what's homeboy name that went to the uh, Steelers? Hayden. What you wear an entire Browns Hayden to the Suns game one time? What are you talking about? And hung out with him. And hung out with him. I wasn't wearing his jersey. Oh, yeah, maybe he was wearing a brown costume, though. I think Hayden was wearing his jersey. Yeah, he like carries it. jerseys in his pocket. Like, Here you go. He was, <laughs> <laughs> right, it went right to your head. Pause. All right, number five, Nike SB High. I feel bad saying this because it's Dornbecker for the you know for the money for the Dornbecker, <laughs> but those suck. thumps with the heart on the side, them joints yellow and blue. I forgot I had those. I sold those. <laughs> you, they should have been on your list. I sold too. those to Pizza Face Man. There's a lot of stuff that we should have Who on is here. Pizza though. Face Man. That rich man. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I sold them those in Krampus and Yeezy <laughs> and Yeezy. Uh, Call me a bike. Nah, <laughs> Pizza a, Boy. Dude, like that you said. Though. Dude, that you said you wouldn't have acne anymore. You stop putting your face on all those booties. Oh, oh Hunter, <laughs> Hunter. Uh, Oh, hey, man, I don't know that guy. <laughs> I'll say his name on here. They, they got money, bro. They'll get us. All right. All right. He doesn't exist anymore. Shoot, you'd be surprised who listens to the Sneak This Podcast. Yeah, okay. Right. Number four, I don't think either one of you had these. or what? You're going to be embarrassed for me? Jeremy Scott Panda's up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Four. He had those in his closet. Uh, I remember that. Uh. I copped them only to resell. Them joints went like this. Okay, but I think I had one of the panda like this. He had the panda. The ones that Lil Wayne wore. He had the panda. Oh, wait, that's next. Oh, wait. All right, hey. number three. Jeremy, Jeremy Scott Bones. He had them bones, too. Bro. <laughs> he thought he was Fred Flintstone. Fred he thought he was so tight. Fred bro. Flintstones, bro. I never put either pair on my He's foot. Lying, they were lying. You're lying. He's I lying. sold them both. I bet yes, you wore one. I bet you tried one on. I'll show you my eBay. I bet you tried one on. Swear I swear to God, I swear everything I didn't do that. You don't believe in God, but it doesn't count. I don't count. That's why I changed the size for on everything trust me i would never put that on my foot you get divorced we know you're lying Bruh, that bone shoe is a, this wide <laughs> two of these that's how wide it them is them bone shoes had like piano keys across it <laughs> them was the most <laughs> trash what else you got it looked like the movies where they be having bones to their <laughs> like a a, a uh, bone to their nose Neo <laughs> national geographic yeah uh, what you got number two plummet fakes LeBron nine plumbing fakes. We called sweet. What is it called? Sweet one sixty. Sweet one eighty or something. Uh, some. And we copped off that. Is your mic falling website? Apart? I don't know. Uh, is, I'm not talking. Oh, you can't hear it in here. Yeah, it's like banging. And we copped on that website where we thought maybe they sell fakes. Deadstock. Deadstockshoes.com. Yeah, com. That's how much we thought plumbing fakes was gonna go like this. And what do we you buy? Cop, then you cop like we might have bought a like dozen? five each or four each. We had so many of those. Stuck. It must have been impossible to get rid of those. Though. I remember. <laughs> I remember when I I bought mine because when I sold the last uh, one, I went. Like Flowrider was wearing it, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Flowrider was wearing it at WrestleMania. I was like, oh. We didn't even uh, cop to wear. I don't think no, I didn't. No, I just I copped to resell it. And then I was in New York, and he sent a he oh, sent me yeah, a text like, about some socks. Get them socks. There were some limited plummet. <laughs> That was, when, like socks. that was when those like Nike. Oh yeah, uh, that socks LeBron, were going those crazy. LeBron socks used to go for. We're rips. in the hotel room in the New York, New York, New York, New York, whatever the hotel's called. Rocio's just chilling. I just dropped everything I did. <laughs> I'm running, I'm running in Manhattan like this. <laughs> going full locker. Y'all got those socks? They was like, oh, we got these Jordan socks that are Hornets colors. I was like, ran into another one. I'm talking running through Manhattan like uh, like a marathon, bruh. Nothing. Dude. Came back. Rocio's like, what? Bruh. <laughs> That's a worse buy. That's a bad buy. Like a marathon. Uh, I was <laughs> dipping. Uh, like, like the amazing and race. Those, and those KL socks used to go for high too. The pink ones. Like he was on The Apprentice. He had a lot of KL socks. I still do. Them joints went high. They did. And like thirty dollars a pair. USA ones. What else you got? And yeah, those elite socks hit for a while. And then number one, you already know what number one is. Krampus. It so. better be Krampus. <laughs> number one. Krampus, Krampus is might be the worst Nike SB dunkable. I sold that to. I, I didn't, I didn't There's even, only person. I, I mean, I Ask sold me. it a long time ago, but I don't know if I lost money, but, uh, made money. I don't know what I did. Number I five. I have no idea. Number five. Packer all red. Kianos. Kianos. You love ah. that shoe. Number five. One of the worst. You loved shoes that shoe. Of all time. You I loved swore the way by it. Looked on the on the internet. It was fire. You... In hand, ashy. On foot, uncomfortable. Uh, you trash. trash. Uh, y'all can. Y'all want to buy it? I got it for you. Sixty bucks. Well, it won't fit me. So. Uh, KD five splash number four. Oh right. yeah, one of the trashest shoes of all time. Splat. That Nerf was the wannabe. first time. That was the oh. first time I wanted to hoop in something new. I hoped in and spray my ankle like three times at the gym. <laughs> I said I'll never wear it again. 
Number three, those LeBrons we bought. Yep. I mean, that, that that LeBron 12. MPLS I bought it the week. MP. NRNL, whatever. NRL. I bought them the week of uh, NRA. Air Jordan 6s, infrared 6s. <laughs> yeah. And I bought those. And why did we buy them? Because of Wale. Because Wale. Wale had them on. They looked so oh, funny. And I, because they said they were canceling that. them. Do you still have them? Yeah. I do too. I sell 80 by 80 bucks. <clears throat> DS. Number two. <laughs> number two, Packer SNS. Sean Kemp All Star Game Kamikaze oh pack. Oh pack. I couldn't sell that pack. now. San Antonio Pack. <laughs> Alamo. Remember it. the Alamo. <laughs> that was such a bad buy though, because there's no way to rock those. Uh, and number one. All right. Number one. Oh my number God, LeBron one. Twelve. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> they suck. suck. Oh my God. Number this one. Shit right here. Yeah. yeah. Oh Still God. got it. <laughs> they don't suck that bad. They, they suck. suck. They suck, bro. Number one. Solar Soft Moccasin <laughs> Premium, and they were called Yeezys because they had bro, that those are fire. Rack. Man, those. you hated them. Bro, those are fire. Wrong. I Remember? still have mine. Stop it. Those no. are fire. No, no, no. What happened was, me and you were trashing them in the third. We were like, we hate these. You wore them to Gadzooks that day, driving your Thunderbird, and you was like, you know what, these joints are actually not that bad. They're actually fire. We were obsessed with them when they came out. Yeah, that everybody was. That was the first time was. I ever talked to you. Yeah, everybody was, because where we got them from? Black Sheep? I think you're the one that told me how to get up here. Yeah. It was no. like order from Black Sheep, North Carolina or South Carolina, wherever they are. We they were obsessed. Suck. No, dude. they're fire. You remember these, right? These they're fire. Soft, yeah, they're fire. They're fire. They're laughing. They're fire. Let me see them pictures. Bro, they're suck. fire. Let me see all the pictures you got. They suck. They're fire. They suck. <laughs> Anything you can see your barefoot is gay. You can't right? see your barefoot. Eee. I forgot to add that. You can't just yell gay. You got to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You gotta add the these pumas, these, these pumas aren't that bad, and, bruh. And definitely whatever you put number five is fire. I don't know why you got hating on them A6. All them suck. You want a pair? You smoking? Those that, studying. That's not that Simple, bad. Your shit. list is trash. I mean, we like, could do this like again. Trash yeah. as in like you shouldn't have a couple of these. We could do top ten regret cop. Uh, <laughs> let's be. Uh, These solar soft suck. Bro, no, they don't. They're not that bad. <laughs> bro, look at that picture. I'll wear them next week. Suck my dick on the back. Suck, I can't even put my foot in it barefoot. You liking a lot of weird stuff on the back, bro. Uh, I don't yeah. know what's happening to you since you got married, but you yeah. need to chill. All right. Do booty stuff. Uh, shout out to Fila. Da -da 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 bro, why are you shouting out? You just did what you get, what you get mad at everybody else for doing. You just shouted out a company to let you give them your money. Yo, thanks, Fila, for letting me cop. Thanks, Bruh. Fila. Look at Thank you. Thank you. These Air, Max, these Air Forces, or whatever they are, Air Force One Galaxy joint. <laughs> <laughs> With that lunar soul. <laughs> uh, <I> suck. Uh, <laughs> that's right. a sneak disc. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Honorable mention, Ronnie Fye Grand Opening Pack. Oh, why did uh, we buy those? Yeah, those suck. I still oh, got those. Why did we buy those? If you want to buy them for 50, dude, I got you. And I then got after those came I out, all them other ones that was like Cyber Mondays in every single Trash. shoe, the same color blocking. All right. It was a weird time. It was a weird time for us. All right, guys. That's the biggest.